started, but like I thought you it got started. the whole We're live. thing because you like them for their horse insemination company. Mr. Ackerman, greetings What's and up, salivations. Guys? Your shelves are bare. I know, yeah. I had to take things bare? off. Bare? Like there's not an American flag there, you terrorist? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking anti-American piece of shit. <laughs> it's my grandfather right there. But uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to come say hi, yeah, because I haven't been on these uh, for a while. So uh, Yeah, it's been a while. Do do. Yeah. Yeah, we, we should have been on last week. Stay. Last week was great. I know, yeah, I wish I was. We should, if you could stay a while, we should do some fucking photo reviews. We haven't done those in a long time. Hell yeah, I fucking love doing those. Yeah. But yeah. um... I'm the only one not to, well, I guess Mike kind of, well, I'm not, I'm not, he was going to dress up and then he didn't. He decided against it. And so he just wanted wanted to go polo shirt. That's all right. It's a, it's a cock perfection. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and that's why I said he liked it. He likes them not for their handguns, but for their horse insemination. I mean, <laughs> Glock makes an okay handgun. It works. I can. To hit be shit fair, with did it. you know he's made more money on the horse insemination than the handguns? I don't care because apparently racehorses are worth like, an ass load of money. This is like the fourth time in five minutes you've mentioned horse insemination. You got to yeah, that was something? Glock's passion. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. Is, Devin A hates horses. He made two companies about it. Devin A hates horses, and B loves cock and semen. Yeah, see, especially horse cock. Yeah, right. No, I hate horses. Oh, you hate horse semen? Yeah, human semen is 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 sweet. Yeah, tastes a little bit like mushrooms and copper, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. (laughs) It reminds me of licking a slab of raw bacon. It's so nice and salty and meaty and nummy. God, can I get that sound bite right there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can. I'm, I'm going to rip I this whole thing. And so, somebody will clip it, I am sure. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. I mean, yeah, somebody's going to be a fucking a tismo and just fucking go for it. Yeah. So, so um, it, it'll I, be I in just... your email inbox before the end of the stream, almost <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> I, um, I just jumped on just a minute ago. Devin, are you are you, are you going full Swiss right now? Like that's what, right, I am. Yeah, very nice. I like that. I used to I have really I was cool. for decades to get this tunic ticket. The last piece I needed to complete my collection. So that in other words, he went full fag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I went full Geneva Convention because I'm from where it is. Just like you said. <laughs> We like should still, someday replicate that picture of that Swiss guard and the German guys like talking. Yeah, right at oh, the like, yeah. border crossing. Yeah. That's a sweet fucking photo, man. Like I got all the shit. Like I literally have the fucking entrenching tool. I have the pack. I have literally fucking everything. Well, and I have an entire community. complete German kid as well. Yeah. yeah so you so. and Devin can recreate that photo yourselves. So you don't can. want in? I'll get my fucking pipe out. It'll <laughs> oh, be great. Oh. I'll be in the background. I'll be one of the back. I'll be like the, I think there's, isn't there like a French policeman or something in that photo? Yeah, there too? is. There's a gendarme. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, I used to get... have one of those helmets, but it didn't have the cover on it. Is, is that a cover that you have over yours? Yeah. This is yeah. well. they have a reversible cover that has like, this is the fall side. Mm-hmm, um, there's better. a summer side. That's basically just like the German splinter camo, slightly different. Yeah. But, yeah. But I like the fall side better. So, yeah, that, because it's it's more of like an art, artistic kind of like Roar One style camouflage of like yeah, it's just colors blended in together. I think that that scheme and that style of camouflage works better than a solid color, but it also it doesn't look cool. I guess you know people like yeah. the patterns and, and find patterns. Like I was telling Mike, it's got a really interesting story because the first helmet covers for the M eighteen were made out of old Shaco covers mm-hmm. that they just combined with like cotton bed sheets and then they hand painted. But the scheme that they hand painted was a lot like this. Yeah. And hmm. that took form into this actual standard cover. Interesting. So yeah, it's not like I don't know, because I'm just I'm looking up the cover right now. The camo, it's I can't really pin it down. It's so like fucking random and shit, the pattern. Yeah. It's basically just like blotchy spray paint, pretty much. Right. That's pretty cool. Well, that's what what it like, looks when like. I, yeah, the when summer apply... side is splinter pattern because yep. the Swiss adopted splinter pattern as well for shelter halves and whatnot. Yep. So. Right. When when I apply face camouflage, I, I kind of use that same concept of the fall side of the Swiss mm-hmm. thing. 
I'll put I'll put big blotches of colors and then I'll just go like this. Mm-hmm. And when they all fade together, it actually like besides your nose, you have to like darken that up a little or a little bit. Yeah. Or uh, I'm sorry, lighten it up a little bit, and then like underneath your eyes, you have to um or no. The opposite. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking done. High, high points. Yeah, darker your nose so, and lighter yep, your eyes. Yep. So darker and then lighter. Yeah. But besides that, like on my actual face and my neck and shit, I'll just smear everything together. There's no like defined tiger stripe or whatever pattern. And it works very fucking well when you just smear a bunch of colors together. The other thing, it, it doesn't look good on a uniform. And that's why people didn't adopt it. But I'm like, hey, it's more effective. Yeah. It really is. Because when you look out into the, when you look out into like the woods or just nature in general, you don't see defined colors contrasting with each other. You see a blend of random colors. You kind see splotches. Of, you and see then splotches. you see the, the shades, the light and the dark. Yes, exactly. And and that, you know, it's the sun reflecting off of that or whatever. And that's the thing. I never understood it. Like with camouflage uniforms, like everybody is like, oh, I love M81 Woodland. And I'm like, yeah, because you grew up with it. And it's like the quintessential United States. I love you know, M81 Woodland. So be careful what you say. It's my favorite pattern. <laughs> well, go fuck yourself. Um, because I, th- I think I think that the, the shapes are too fucking defined, and they're too big, and they're too differently colored. They don't blend into each other. Well, I all. agree. The pattern only works if it's super fucking faded. It works great if it's faded. Right, but yeah. that's not good. You should have a, a pattern that works well out of the box, and then works fine when it's faded as well. In my yeah, opinion. for sure. Not and it's one of those CP. things where like the military didn't realize it until pretty late where you have to over dye it because it's going to be faded. Right. You don't want it and, to be perfect when it's brand new and then suck when you wear it in. And, and Jake brought up UCP. Go fuck yourself. That's not a camouflage pattern. You know that. That's a no, fashion. It's grandma's couch. It's grandma's couch. UCP <laughs> works great if you're blind. <laughs> it actually is not terrible under night vision. No, it does work. No, okay. it actually, it's kind of blurry. Yeah, it actually does decent under night vision. But yeah, like, that's about the only place that it works. But then shine you know an IR light on works it. works really great under night vision? Solid olive drab. It's a solid color, though. Like, you can you yeah. can see it. And But here's the thing is, like, <clears throat> what Jake said is correct. But when you shine an IR light on, on UCP, it glows. It's fucking there. It's fucking yeah. there. It, it's bright. Oh, the, <laughs> uh, the, um, what was it? The the low light camouflage, the low light desert camouflage the from Desert uh, Night oh, Desert the Storm. Night yeah, yeah, the Desert Night. That's that shit's fucking sweet. It is sweet. It's my favorite American pattern aside mm-hmm. from M eighty one of them. Mm. They they wasted money unknowingly, so I can't really fault them for that because it was so outdated by the time. Like for for their intention was like. It'll defeat IR and you know early night vision technology, and it did. It will it, for the true. date it was designed, but by twenty years later, Desert Storm comes around. Night vision had come a long ways. Dude, they invented that in like the early late sixties, early seventies, just like chocolate yeah, chip. Yeah, it was designed right? for early sixties, late fifties Soviet night vision. But all of our adversaries up until that point yeah, didn't probably. have night vision, so it didn't matter. You know, they no, they did. That's yeah, the I thing was gonna say the Iraqis like, had night vision. Yeah, and here's the thing. It, it, I have I have a fucking I have two sets of um I have Gen Zero and Gen One night vision goggles. Yeah, they're tanks and truck drivers had night vision. Yep, so. they're both Polish and they do fucking work. I've 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 put I've rigged up batteries to make them work, and I've used an IR light, and they do work. You have to have an IR source. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. And the tanks they, did like a lot of those T fifty fives at the. The, the, the big, the big spot, a big yeah, the IR spot, IR bulb on yep. the outside of the turret that would go where the main gun. They're going. actually good up to like 150 <laughs> yards, which yeah, is pretty, not pretty slick, unimpressive. Actually. Yeah, it's they're yeah, they're for, good, but like um, IR, that's quite a that's quite a stretch for IR. No, but like you gotta I, I've understand, done these it. are gigantic IRs as well. They I might know be they 10 are. One I know what an, I, I know what a T55 yeah. is. Yeah, but, but like no, they're no. big. They're not like. There, here's I, the thing: the bulb on this thing is this fucking big, so you yeah, know. I know he gets it, Devin. But like, I'm telling Jake, like, I have like, if you want to come here sometime and we can fuck around with these things, I I, I rigged them up to like run off of nine volts. Yep. And um, if you look at it, it's actually pretty clear picture too. Yeah. But it's like unless you have an IR like, source, like it's a cigarette lighter or like a truck or something. Yeah, you can get that adapter. I don't have that adapter, but yeah. like. And also, they ran on twenty four volt, not twelve. Yeah. So it doesn't work on a twelve volt. But um, um, 
anyway, they, they actually do work well and they're fucking pretty cool. Uh, big, cumbersome, uncomfortable, heavy, and the battery doesn't last that long. Yes. So Gen Zero shit. Um, all right, Mike, are you pulling yes. pictures up? Yeah, one second. Let me uh, get my hard drive. Uh, he's got a picture up. Get it in the background there. He, he's getting I, his hard drive. I know. I've been looking at all the updates of you doing that painting from the beginning. It's Oh, thank you. It's coming along well. Thank I, you, love yeah. how, I love the comments of where like people are like, it's this, and you tell them it's not. And I was like, well, it's obvious, but like <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's that's I funny. Really about you being like, ah, no, it's actually this, yeah. and it's like, well done. But yeah, well, no, that's the thing, like that, because my my uh it's obviously it's Omaha stuff, and people think that uh you know that that um Whenever anything is Navy involving Omaha Beach, they think it's 7th Naval Beach Battalion. So I just go, I was like, that, that guy should, you know, 7th Naval Do Beach Battalion. they realize how much Naval personnel were actually at the right. Normandy landings? It's like, no, no, no. He's just a regular, like, you know, Navy demolitionist. It's like the, the, yeah. the, the 7th NBB was just, was mostly on the Western side. And there were not, they're, they're just one unit out of a freaking ton of them. You gotta remember, yeah. the Navy's big. A Navy, a Navy <laughs> demolitionist? Does he does does he know uh, Jesse the body Ventura? <laughs> the body, he's the, the body. Uh, <laughs> claimed he was a seal before the seals. Yeah. Well, you know what Chris Kyle did to me is kind of like me going to a Navy frogman in World War II and <laughs> defaming him. That's the equivalent of it, and that's how I saw it. Why would you do that? There's no reason for it. We're all brothers, which I agree with. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like some some are more gay than others. <laughs> what frogmen? It's fine. No brothers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's neither here nor there. Let me tell you this, though. Back in the day, you know, they're talking about issuing Viagra to military officers now. <laughs> and let me tell you, back in my day, we didn't need no Viagra. Viagra. So. Yeah. My my two year old runs down the hallway giggling, and then he hands me this destroyed piece of provolone, and then runs away. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> you know, back when you I was a Navy SEAL, back? if you, a local you, in the Gulf of Tonga would have done that to me, I would have shot him on the spot. <laughs> he and then he just took half of it and ran away. You Again. gotta do like that thing, like what people did with kids, where you just take the whole ass like piece of cheese and you walk up to him and you just whip it at his face. Cute. That's what no. they did. Remember that where they did that with like pets and babies, and they throw the slice of cheese on them, and they'd be like, Aah! "All right." Oh, and you... he brought me his Care Bear that time too. Yeah. Oh are, God. Are, are are you ass clowns ready to do some we were... photo analysis? We were talking Analysis. about this. We talk about Nate. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. So, yeah, I'm ready. So, oh, yeah. Look my wheelhouse. Guy. Yeah. My wheelhouse is, of course, WWII. So, that's what it's going to be. Boomer. <clears throat> that's what hell of a coffee got there, Jake. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, yeah, that's actually yeah. really cool. That's a very early M1. Uh, yeah. You can tell. Well, yeah, it's got mm. the shiny. It's got the no texture paint on it. It's got the holly liner. No, there's texture on there. It's just been worn to fuck. But is that navy blue? It's he's a navy guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a navy guy. Yeah, that's why I brought it up because. But we were the brass, navy. the brass fixtures on everything that are just raw. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's pretty fucking cool. And that that uh, his left side, the short side is wet. That's why it's darker. Yeah, it's still khaki, but like he's got the fucking uh, the fiber liner, which it could be any point in the war. But like his his chin strap, his liner chin strap is very dark. Right. This this is um, 1943 Sicily. He's just a kid. Yeah, and he's also wearing um, which I always love to see. He's also wearing HBTs. Yep. Okay. Yep. They're very faded as fuck too. <laughs> oh yeah, True. been there, been, been yeah, there out the sun for almost white. Are those? Yeah, well, like... it's probably it's probably the exposure as well. But that's Kodachrome, right? It is Kodachrome. It's original color. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's pretty well. 
here's the thing is Navy personnel have to deal with salt constantly. Oh yeah. And yeah. that could be well, salt. That's why they got ratchet and... for everything. Right. Exactly. Cause it doesn't corrode as fast. So yeah. And it's, it's cool because uh... it's an army HPT. It's got the 13 stars on it or whatever. Yeah. It's a, it's a, that is a first pattern. So yeah. Yeah. So very, very freaking cool. I just also like, yeah, like you say, like it's cool to see that the, the khaki straps that they're like so freaking dark because they're all like dirty and wet and shit and grease and wet. And yeah, it's just like yeah, it's sweat. So do you know his job? I don't. I just, I remember the, the cache that I pulled this from was that it's somewhere like on the coast of Sicily. And there's a whole, there's a few more in the same series. Uh, not that this is another one from the same series. Um, I don't know what his job was, but I just know, know that it said that he was Navy. Oh yeah, look at that! You could tell. Look at his boots. They're the Boondockers. They're the black boots, not the brown ones. Down here? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They yeah. had more they... eyelets, and they were black. Yep. These guys no are all wearing stuff like that. Yeah, that was that's a Navy guy. Yep. Uh, HBTs. Some of them what are just wearing helmet. I, I thought that was a first ID insignia, but it can't. It's be. not. It's yeah. not. It's not. It can't be. It's some. It's probably some like weird, like insignia that they were like, "Hey, you can paint this on if you want." You know, yeah, something I, like that. I've all I've um, seen weird painted on insignias on some of the liner helmets. Could it be his? Uh, could it be his rate? His pay no, rate? I don't think. I don't, I don't think. No, it's not rate. pay rate. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think. Maybe it's, I don't his think rates rate. and ranks. Yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. rate would be I, like I, bosun's mate or. Or gunners so, made or something. Zoom like that. in a little yeah. bit more, Mike, on the on that again. I know it's blurry, but like, it doesn't look like a rating. It doesn't look like a rating because it's got a shield on it. So it does look like a big red one, though. It it does, I, thought, yeah. I wish I could find a TIFF uh, version of this photo so it would like be the original like resolution. quality. So yeah, resolution. I'd be able to see. But uh, yeah, I, I, I love seeing the HBTs and shit. It's really cool. A lot of fucking fiber liners. And I'll too. tell you what, the yep. HBTs, they don't hold up that great, but fuck, are they comfortable? God. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're like, you wash them like once or twice, and you're like, oh my God, these are basically pajamas. <laughs> yeah. They're like paper thin. They're just like, you know, a really thin denim kind of. Oh, they're yep. so nice, though. God, they're so comfy. Let's see. Oh, oh that's a little. Yeah. Oh, come that's on. Now that guy wanted a high five. Oh, you morbid yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's yeah, that? Priest. A grant? That's a priest. No, it's a priest. M7 yeah. priest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because is... it's got the, uh, yeah. Yeah, the 105 sitting there. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's got, I love seeing the driver's face there in the, in the viewport. <laughs> the British absolutely loved that thing. The M7. Fair, the British it's loved at... absolutely fucking anything they could get. No, yeah. they no. The British used the M7 to much greater effect than the U.S. Army ever did. They <laughs> the, the British used the fuck out of the priest. In fact, that's well, where the name came from. They also had their version of the Grant with the Lee, which had the fucking what is it, the six pounder in it? Yeah, the same thing, it, but with a British gun in no, it. No, the, the main so difference many, between the main difference so between the Lee and the Grant with <laughs> British guns in them, and they were nerd better. fight, nerd fight, nerd. The fight. main difference between the Grant and the Lee was the was the. 37 millimeter turret because the Brits wanted the radios up in the turret with the commander. Mm. And so they had to build a different turret to go on top. That was the main difference. Um, it's interesting when it comes to the Lee tank, uh, the M3 Lee, I saw um, someone on YouTube posted some great uh, original color footage from the Eastern front for a German, like a German reporter that took all this photo, this, this uh, footage. And it was like, um, you know, uh, it, it was insanely same quality. It was great and everything. And they're showing a number of, you know, that you can tell it's all chronological. So you can tell like when he's in a convoy and then all of a sudden you see like a freaking shit go off way off on the horizon. <laughs> and, and then, you know, and then the next thing is him, is him recording the tanks and stuff that they just destroyed. And um, once they reached it and a lot of them are American Len lease uh, M3 Lee tanks. Yeah. That's, uh, the, oh, yeah. That the yep. Soviets have. And it says like, the, he, he would he would film on there like you know made in USA that's printed off on the side of them. <laughs> Just really interesting to see stuff like that, and they're painted brown too, which is uh, kind of interesting. The Soviet ones, yeah, the Soviet Lend Lease uh, M3 uh, huh. Lee tanks, yeah. 
So here's another one. This oh, I a, love this picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great one. I've seen that before. I, again, he's got a weird thing. I mean, I guess that's a second LT mark, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, it is. It it's probably a, LT. It's a butter LT. bar, if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah. Butter bar right there. Um, but uh, yeah, really cool photo. Isn't that a third ID guy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Taking a snooze. So he's a he's a he's a PL and um taking a fucking snooze. Yeah. <laughs> Rightfully so. Got to do it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, this is cool. Oh my god! Look at that guy's jorts. <laughs> oh yeah. Where did you get this picture oh, of me? He's god wearing damn. his fucking. Oh, that's his undershirt. Never mind. He's wearing an this undershirt. Is... Yeah. Um, I thought when I first saw, I thought maybe that was a that was a cotton uh, tropical. That, that, a drill, a drillish tunic. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Is like not not a tropical, but like a drillish. It's right. not. It's just his undershirt and um. A lot of good fighters in this fucking picture. Look at all of them. Yeah. We've got the fucking bam, bam, <laughs> yeah. bam, bam at the end there. You yeah, know? exactly. So it's bam, like a bunch of like, it's a bunch of like Lance Corporals. I wonder if they separated them by rank. And also, you see that GI is holding the P thirty eight. Yep, probably taken from one of them. Yep, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this photo. Fucking souvenir, it's man. A good photo. Yeah. This Look how happy this guy is. Shorts, though. <laughs> He's got to figure it out. He's like, comfort is king. I'm going to cut my pants off into shorts. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, crotch shot right here. there. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. hot. Who cares? And I'm oh, he he's his... got them perfect. They're like mid thigh. And know? the Gefrider to the left. So much he doesn't room for activities. You could really he doesn't have a fucking cup on his canteen. You know? He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, I just noticed that. I was like, he had to lost this or whatever. He lost his cup or whatever. But, yeah, uh, he doesn't give a fuck. And it has some I mean, kind of like yeah. sweater or something. My cup was basically useless. So. Yeah. I've drank out of them before. They're adequate. Yeah. They're just worked. don't drink out of the painted ones because of all the lead. <laughs> yeah, the original ones, yeah. That just yeah, adds the original flavor. ones are full of lead. That so. just adds flavor. Why are they all good fighters? I, I, I'm guessing they separated them by rank. I think, yeah, I, I I can't, whoops, I can't really tell, but I think that's what this one is, too. Wait, does that guy that your, like, little hand thing is on, does he have only one button on his cap? Does he have the weird M43 cap? That's the cockade. No, right no, there. no, the other guy. This guy? The big button, oh, yeah. 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 He's got the weird, he's got the Mountain Trooper one button cap. Interesting. What yeah. the fuck? Maybe Let's he was see. a Gebertsjäger. I was going to say, that's weird to see because you don't well, also, see a lot of those. What in the fuck is on the guy to the left? His cat, the cross, where the that, cockade should be? That's the, I think that is the cockade, right? It's like a cross, though. Yeah, He's maybe wearing the M43 with the whatever on it, yeah. I don't know, yeah. But you notice with the guy to the left of him, the cockade is on there, which is weird because it should be an eagle. But, like, right. what I think the fuck? I think his is probably folded back a little bit. Probably fold, it could be. Eagle. Yeah. But the but the guy to the right of that is like it's a cross. It's not like a fucking cockade. I would guess it's just the way the photo is is because in the center it kind of looks like there's a cockade right there. No, there is, but like I'm I'm wondering what the fuck the cross shape is. Yeah, that diamond. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah like what the hell? And it's hard to tell being as blurry as it is, but it is weird to see that guy there in the back with the mountain troop. The mountain troop cap. Yeah, the mountain troop cap. So. Very he's got an M36 fucking rank, you know, like his, you can tell it's darker. I mean, is he SS? No, he's not. No, they he's can't be. So. No, so it's, M- it's a really early M36 rank on his, wait a sec, zoom into that guy again. The one we're talking about with the mountain troop cap. Okay. That guy's just been around for a while. You could tell he's older. Yeah, but isn't he, wearing M- a, isn't he wearing an M43 tunic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What in the fuck? Yeah, I so, saw... Yeah, he just got a rank that was in stock, and they were like, yeah, here it goes, and it's a fucking M36 bottle green. Or he cut his old fucking ranks off from his riding uniform and put them on the new one. Huh. Guy behind him is also wearing M43. Yep. That's neat, though. That's not something you see every day. There's not a lot of photographs of guys wearing the fucking Jabergsacre hat. So. Yeah. You find weird stuff sometimes. But uh awesome photo. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, I know what this one is. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is one thing that I see in a lot in Italy is where they'll fold up the field jacket and put it in their belt like that. I always think one that's support. Yeah. Also, keeps your belt you on know, better and, or, 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 you know, just a convenient way of carrying it in case it gets cold. Ooh, oh, yeah. Look that, at this guy yeah. fucking flexing his rifle grenade 
launcher. <laughs> yeah. With a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the rabbit's seven. probably like, get me the fuck out of here. No, they're yeah. definitely going to eat that. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zooms in <laughs> all the way. <laughs> what a sick fuck. They're definitely going to eat that fucking thing. Look at it. There's What's... like two, there's like at least six bowls of soup on that rabbit. Come on. Yeah. Man. That's why they're happy. Uh, right behind a freaking, uh, you know, LST right back here. Yep. <laughs> but uh, what's this guy? What 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 kind of hat is that that guy has on? It's That's a just a cap. Campaign. Yeah, just a regular cap. garrison cap. It's just smushed way the front right. down. It's been used, yeah. Oh, more rifle grenade down there. More M7s. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is also third idea. Oh, yeah. You see it right there on his shoulder. But yep. uh, Italy again. Ooh, the sensors failed wine. on this one. The fancy basket wine. Yeah. Hey, you know, that's good shit. Well, we, we, we researched because of uh, Myra's source, you know, Lu Luciano in uh, Italy. Yep. But that shit was like four to five wine. It was like 16, 18%. Oh, yeah. Was real it nice wine. Fucking get in there. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't just like you know, 12% normal or eight to 12% normal wine. This shit was like strong. Cause it was, I mean, I get it. I mostly drink port and the minimum that shit can be bottled is 20. So yeah, well it's not port. It's like in between that, but like it's, yeah, it, it's still fucking strong, especially if you haven't drank in a long time. Well, and it's like, got such a better shelf life. If you bring it up to over 15%. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It lasts a lot longer to store, but like, yeah. It's Cause bacteria awesome. can't survive in it. Oh yeah, Brendan has a good point. The guy on yeah, the right has a nineteen oh three on the right without a fucking front sight hood on it. What the fuck? That's interesting. At this time, is that would that be more common? The sight hood, dude. From World War One on, like yeah, you would have like a front end of sight World hood. War One. You see front sight hoods, like, huh? No, not end of. World I don't War think I. there's it a front was... sight hood on that. No, there's not. But like there what I'm saying is, that. from World War One on, like not even the end of World War One. It was, it was a, a packing list. I have an original packing list somewhere from 1916 when they were going down to the border, right? And part of the packing list was your front sight hood for your 1903 rifle. Right. And so that's been a thing. But, like, I see a lot of pictures where they don't have a hood on there. I don't know why. Hmm. Because it does make it easier to fire. But I guess some guys were just like, uh, whatever, <laughs> I lost it or who knows. They got the, judging from my 1903 that I've got, I've got the... Uh... I've got a front sight hood on it, but it not much holding it on. It could easily get snagged. Yeah, on something I was get say, rid it probably off. came off pretty. Absolutely. Easy. Yeah, they 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 fall off. Yeah, they're yeah. This yeah, is one thing. Americans designing a shit rifle. It's fine. <laughs> it's weird. Their best rifle was designed by a Canadian. <laughs> Touche. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I got this... war crime baked into it. Yeah. I like how this oh, and he's just, got his chin straps cut off. He's got his chin straps cut off. This guy has them folded up into the netting on his helmet. Yeah, yeah because the early chin straps um, were too short. They wouldn't like clasp in the back, right? And so they would be just flopping, and so a lot of guys would just cut them the fuck off. And that's a that's a fixed bail, obviously on the right. Yeah, that's a fixed bail. So he's he's probably just like fuck it. I don't want to deal with this, so I'll just cut them off. Understandable. Just now, I, I saw earlier is that can't is that an M16 smoke grenade? I don't think so. But. No, that's a. It's either a gammon grenade or. I don't know what the fuck that is. Actually, yeah, if it were M sixteen, yeah. it'd be white, right? It'd be. It wouldn't yep, be dark correct. like that. Yeah, correct. Huh. Could it be? Could it be an incendiary grenade and painted red? But. Yeah, it could be. It could it be. An could incendiary. be that. Yeah. Yep. Destroy equipment and shit. Yeah. Definitely well, could be. Love how ratty these these fucking. Oh! Guys. Oh! Zoom in on the guy's canteen on his fucking right hip. The guy that's uh, getting the... Yeah, he's the got black. the big white one or an the, enameled one. No, it's black. an enameled one, but it's hanging by a fucking string. Yeah, on his regular, like, waist belt. What the <laughs> yeah. shit? That's awesome. <laughs> With a steel cover or aluminum cover on it? Yep, aluminum cap. What the fuck, man? I see those in photographs, like, of Africa and stuff, those black ones. Well, yeah, no, they show up, they show up throughout the entire world, but, like, to have an aluminum cap, like that's a zoom well, in. Well, he bit probably like, just got the aluminum cap from somewhere rather than the fucking shitty plastic that, one or whatever. That's what I mean. The bake light ones at the time, but like that's an early, like it looks like a flat top, like a 1910. Yeah. Well, which well, is I still mean, been it's around. It's kind of hard to tell, but like when when was this 
picture taken. This is also um, Sicily of 43. Okay, yep. so that's the first year you would start seeing those enameled canteens. No, you'd see them in 42. Uh, yeah, you'd see them in 42 in the Pacific. No, you'd see, uh, see them in Torch as well. I see them in Africa. I've seen them in Africa. Yep. Okay. You see them a lot in Africa. like Because they, they, they started, they pumped these fucking things out in the millions for a very short amount of time. Which and they were really quickly them and they sucked because they would rust right. the shit after you chip the enamel. Right. And you yeah, take an enamel and shit. Like it's they were not popular, but they were out there. And that's the thing. Yeah. Is like so yeah, I wonder if this is this guy's fuck. I wonder if he's you zoom out a little bit, Mike. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna start filling up his fuck. Oh, he's taking a glass. I wonder if that's his booze flask. <laughs> maybe you know what maybe, i mean yeah yeah <laughs> where he's, he's got he's got it on him and he's like i'm gonna fill up a quart of this fucking port wine almost port wine and just fucking have it on there might as well yeah that, that's a fucking big bottle and that all that shit was homemade man it was home fucking fermented you know like it had been for millennia yeah so cool. a cool photo yeah very cool photo like it and uh, I think this is, I think this might be coming in on Sicily. I don't have any more information on it. Um, Looks like it. Yeah. I think this is Africa because I've seen this photo a bunch of times. And I think this might be at, because they got the yellow on the. And they, they the, also have the tan painted like chassis on there. Yeah. yeah. So I think this might be North Africa. Yeah. I love the football helmets. Yep. Oh, yeah. The Rawlings helmets, yeah. Yep. Let's see, this is some kind of demolition going on, but uh yeah, he's an engineer, you can tell by his helmet. Yeah. Um, is that what the oh yeah, yeah, the the, the freaking castle engineer. Exactly, uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're they're doing some kind of controlled debt, and he was the one that set it off because you can tell his eyes are still closed. You're like, Yeah. Because uh, that's I mean that's a lot of force and shit, but like you got the red primer cord here. Yep. That's cool. Yep. That's fucking awesome. It blown and up this he's huge also thing. black. Yes, Devin, he is. Congratulations. Is just, so is this like a training thing or what? No, that's on the beach. That looks like it's on an actual fucking, like, he doesn't have a fucking BFA or anything on it. Or they didn't have BFAs, never mind. Um. No, it looks like it's fucking there. Like they did have black soldiers. Like yeah, that's a I know, but it's just that, like, kind of weird to see. And it's like, what if you look over there? What is he like blowing up? What are they doing? I've just this probably, huge they probably bunch of weapons. Here. Yeah. Also, probably a bunch of weapons and shit, and like okay. that they found. Right, yeah, you know that they still do that shit. Like if they find a shitload of fucking weapons, they're like, oh well, we don't know what the fuck to do with these. We don't want them to fall into. Yeah, I have an moving. APOBS pack. Like, yeah, get, and it looks like. It looks like this area too. Like, looks like they 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 marked it with the white tape before. Yeah, the yeah, engineer yeah. tape. Yep, yep. Which they still use as well, which is fucking convenient. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a controlled debt. That's a big fucking boom. Yeah, it hasn't <laughs> even reached its peak size yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> <it's, was> <laughs> that's why his face is like ah, because he's probably just getting the shock as it hit. That's a good yeah. picture. He's gonna hear some ringing. Oh, yeah. um, this photo. This photo, I love this photo. This is got the against, accordion. Yeah, Sicily, um, with a whole bunch of Italian guns sitting around. Yeah, yeah he's got yeah. a 1903. There's a Carcano cavalry carbine stuck in the ground there. Yep. 1903. And then these MGs over here. The Britas, yeah. And playing a guitar. Couple Britas, actually, yeah. Yeah, two of them right there. Really cool. And then is this more Carcanos over there? Yeah. yeah. TSs, it looks like. Yeah. No, the 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 one on the top is uh on uh 9138 Okay. Rifle, oh yeah, because it doesn't have the rear sight. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then um the one I can't tell the one below it, but let's you can't tell what, yeah. yeah. But it's got the full wood stock, so it's either a TS or a ninety one thirty eight. No, that's got the finger groove in the stock. It's a right telltale behind, sign of the ninety one thirty eight. Right behind a pillbox here. That's actually a very well concealed pillbox. I love, yeah, I love seeing the improvised pillboxes along like shorelines and stuff like that. Yeah, this, I mean, the they, they did a good job on this one. The way they would camouflage them and stuff, yeah. Yep. 
Okay, cool. No, I, I don't remember this photo. The third ID, you can see it on the helmet right there. Yeah, so this is after Anzio. That's what, yeah, it says German captured at Anzio by third ID. Yeah. That's a uh, butter bar grabbing his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, geez, yep, look at that. Typical, typical. He's got his fingers up in there and everything. Just He's reach right in there, man. In there. Just checking the oil. Bro. Just checking the oil. Yeah, that butter bar might be uh might be a West Pointer too. Look at the ring. Yeah, he does have that big. That, yeah, it meat. might be. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you're not. You're good, not wrong. Good, good That's catch where you there. learn how to get in there, nice and deep, like. <laughs> <laughs> Devin knows. He's seen this at first hand. And the, the the guy on the left has got a fucking tanker jacket on. Yep, tanker jacket. Yep. Devin not wow. only has seen it firsthand, he's been both the giver and the receiver. I mean, oh, that's boy, fair. Sometimes you get bored and there's lots of time on your hands. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, a full ass ass cheek, you know. Dun, 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 dun. I like a little jiggle, you know. Should be like a book oh, about like Christ. sexual harassment in World War II, and this is the cover. Of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's on the cover, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god do you know how much you know how many fucking copies of that you would sell today yeah that's so like all cake. of them Here's literally the all of them sexual Even if harassment like in world war joke, ii there would be like people in california that would have like two copies of that on their like bookshelf yeah you could you could do it like um those two guys uh bogosian and uh what the hell is the other guy who like wrote a bunch of papers like academic papers and submitted them to the college like Dog oh, park, yeah. fucking, you know, th that thing, like, do it rape, within the rape same culture like, and rape culture among dogs or something. Rape shit culture like that. among dogs and dog parks and all that shit. <laughs> and then, like, they got an A on it and it was peer reviewed and everything. Do that for World War II and be like addressing sexual harassment. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. World He's War got II. Five fucking fingers and a whole palm <laughs> on an ass cheek. Like, that's your, that's your, that's your, your attention getter right there to sell that shit. He's just goosing them. <laughs> What's the big deal? Oh man, he's just go a little bit goosing. Never hurt. Well, how he's like not even that close. Like he's arm full extended. Like that was the first thing he was gonna do. Was like I'm gonna grab this and guy's he's staring, look, he's staring right at it too. Yeah, he's, he's oh, he's looking at it. He's get fucking. That, he's he's, he's that, observing. Get that crowd ass. Let's see how much these pants fucking actually hide your ass. Because when they're off later, it's it's no holds barred. Yeah. Oh. We're fucking going. Man, but this this stream's gonna get someone's gonna find this and, and show how like and, and ex try to expose us for being so unpatriotic and shit. It's like I yep, you're captured all right. Oh, there you what? You got you're not starved just enough. You got a nice cuppage there, perfect for clapping. <laughs> the other possibility, <laughs> the other possibilities could be slapping him on his ass and telling him good game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's got a cigarette in his mouth, so he might have just <laughs> came in his pants. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Jake. It's like sports. It's like, you know, it's not gay if it's, <laughs> if it's sports. Yeah. It's not every day you can clearly pick out the soldiers from Alabama. But like, I mean, Understanding I mean, sexual harassment among GIs to their prisoners in World War II. Yeah. I mean, th th this. I love that. You say that, like, understanding the sexual harassment between GIs, but it's like 10% white, 10% black, and like 80% gray. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Well, that was a good one. Yeah, it was a he definitely going in for that grab though. That's right. <laughs> Fucking oh, West Pointers. Oh, and then we go immediately to a very sad photo. Yeah. Uh North Africa. Yeah, that guy's gonna die a heat stroke. Look at his fucking coat. I know he's wearing it gets one of those. It's cold in the fucking desert, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but it's daytime, guy. It gets cold in the daytime in the desert, dude. I don't know about you. I wasn't that cold in the desert. You weren't in fucking Kuwait either. That's fair. To be fair, nobody wants to be in Kuwait. That place yeah. blows. I Devin. didn't want to be there. I had orders. Devin, you were basically in Colorado. Yeah, and it was <laughs> hot. <laughs> it's hot in Colorado too. <laughs> yeah. The problem is with Colorado, it gets hot while it's snowing eight feet. That's fair. Been, yeah, plenty of plenty of days where it's like it's forty. Why is it snowing? Ugh. So this next photo I like quite a bit. This is also uh, Sicily, uh, Herman Göring Division. Okay. 
Yeah, always love seeing the the Herman Göring division because they have the weirdest shit. They have like they always have the weirder shit. Yeah. SS camo. What kind and stuff? of pants yeah. is he wearing? Those are like fucking bloomers. They're like, yeah, I don't know. I think they're like freaking <sighs> Falschermjäger pants. I don't know. I don't think they're the Falschermjäger pants, but they look Maybe like those might... really fucking baggy tanker pants for like um, breathability. Yeah, that, they might be because again, yeah, it's like Luftwaffe, and they're like you know a Panzer division. Yeah. So they they could be. The tanker yeah, pants were cut like, extra baggy for breathability because it got so fucking hot in the tanks. Right. So and then I can see he's got his like fucking MG repair kit thing, like his maintenance kit on his belt. Yep. And, and then, he's got yep. obviously a lot of belts and a forty-two. He's got the Luftwaffe belt buckle. Yeah. He's got a yep. ring. That, I mean, yeah, that's true. If he lived, he has a ring, but he probably, <laughs> some GI probably owned that ring. I but, wonder where he is today, Devin. Dead. They're old as fuck. <laughs> if they're not dead, they're they're all dead. It's the same and, stuff they're dead. And, and I'll say this, when this photo was taken, this guy doesn't look like a, no spring chicken to me. No, no, no. That guy is probably in his at least 40s. So. Right. Is that burned? <laughs> is that burned? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a, absolutely. That's 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 uh that's how Brando, but um, yeah. and that's what that's a 42 helmet, is it? It's hard to tell. Uh, I think, yeah, like this might be the oh, yeah, the, it's got the little flare on the end, yeah, yeah, the unrolled uh rim. But uh, he might have come back just to look at this this guy's trousers, he, he might know, but uh, if he was here, he would immediately know the helmet, he'd be like, no, 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 it's an M42, it is a 42 because it's got yeah. the little flare on it, yeah, right, which it's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I just, I. I love to do impressions of people sometimes. Is that in the desert? I don't think that's in the desert. He no, doesn't look hot enough to be in the desert. It's Sicily, so it's like it's hot as hell because it's summer, but like it's, it's Oh, this uh, is Sicily? I thought this was like five miles from Moscow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you can that's tell not by the Norway? <laughs> the total Mediterranean landscape back here, yeah. It I mean, looks like to be fair, Russia to me. also has a lot of dirt buildings. Well, but, that's uh, just because Russia can't afford anything else. To be I, fair, uh, dirt is very livable. One thing I find interesting are his boots. So I guess the low boots just with no gamashin. I was going to say, he doesn't have any gaiters on, but they're just the low boots, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. But yeah, I think those are our Panzer pants. So. Could be. I, I thought initially, I thought he was wearing like a onesie, like some kind of boiler suit. They had like, like some weird tropical pants, uh, the Luftwaffe did because it's yeah, it's a Luftwaffe dude, uh, that were really baggy and shit. Um, they kept that with the Fashion Jaeger and all that shit, but I don't know what exactly those are because Panzer pants weren't baggy for obvious reasons. Um, but there was a tropical, I can't remember what the fuck model it was or whatever, of like it was just khaki or they started all drab, of course, but like. They, they do look like the British, like Bombay bloomers, though. Mm. Right? Yeah, they were very baggy, and then they 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 took that pattern. And after, uh, like in 1944, you'd see a lot of these same cuts with the Italian M29 camo, mm. mm -hmm. in like Normandy and shit with pockets added and all that shit. So yeah, this guy's a Luftwaffe uh, uh, field division gunner, of course. And yeah, he's uh, doing what he does best, and his helmet's not painted, which is interesting. But yeah, do you think does that look like an M42 to you? Uh, no, it's that's not. Wait, um, I know it's hard it, to tell. It, no, it's the the one part of the picture is fucking me up. But like, it it looks like an M40 or an M35. Okay, I think it's just a part of the picture, like in the background, that makes it look like a 42 on the. One but side it has that flared little out. flare. It's not actual helmet flare. It's just part of the background. Yeah, I think it's a forty or a thirty-five. In my okay. opinion, could be wrong, but you yeah. know. Oh, this picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a the really Vespa. interesting one. So yeah, it's a fucking Vespa. Those things are fucking. Those are a problem if you don't get them. <laughs> talking about the vehicle they're sitting on. Yeah, yeah. It's a Vespa. Yeah. It's uh, made off a pan uh, PZ thirty-five chassis. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. With the what gun was on that, Jake? With a high, uh, probably a high velocity seventy-five. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what I think because it was a, it was an indirect fire and tank destroyer. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a seventy-five. 
Yeah, I don't know the like actual de- definition of it, but yeah, that looks like a no. That was a fucking eight. bitch of a vehicle. Like when they were facing them, because they're so small, and yeah. they can they can rain down fucking steel on you. Yeah, it's this... actually a it was actually a check uh, check chassis. Yeah, PZ thirty five. Yeah, thirty five. PZ thirty five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> very interesting. You know, think of what this insignia it means? It's a clover well, leaf. It's a clover leaf with an accident. Right. Like. Say, hey, hey. <laughs> Jerry, Google it. It's probably just like, this guy will be like, it brings us luck, and they're dead. Uh-huh. But do you see how small the vehicle is itself? Yeah, like, yeah it's yeah. like, it's really freaking tiny. It's tiny. And it had uh, a five-man crew. Yep. Dang it. Dude, <laughs> two of them were loaders. That's the thing. Yeah. And someone like, in the uh, yeah. someone in the comments says it's a Martyr 2 or 3. I don't think it's a Mar. Uh, I think it's a Vespa. Sure. I think that's a Vespa. Let me yeah. let me go just confirm really quick. I'm pretty sure. I mean, the Martyr two and three were also built on ch- check chassis, but no, yes. the the Vespa was an artillery piece, self propelled artillery. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Fuck. So that is a. It's probably a Martyr two. Let me see. Uh, could be a Martyr two. Um, nope, it's not a Martyr 2. Nope, it's not. It's a, Is that a Martyr 1? Yep, that's a Martyr 1. Pretty small guy. So it's a... No, it's second... not. Like, what the fuck is that? Look at the, look at the chassis. If you, if you Google it, like, the Martyr 1... Oh, wait, here we go. Um, oh, is, uh, is it a Martyr 3? It's a Martyr 3. Yep. Or no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me see the superstructure. Okay, one second. Because I've I've got what that is right here. I just the fucking site does not help. I'm gonna put it in um Friday Night Shite Chat. Okay. On Facebook. I've got the vehicle. I just the site is not helping me at all. Uh that's it's not it's none of those. It's not a martyr, it's not a martyr one, two, or three. Yeah, my well, it's also a picture of it, but it's what is it? It's a weird angle too. I don't here. Let me do a Google reverse sh- search on it. Um, yeah, spray it out because it's like. Nope. Um, well, one second. I got this. Because what I just sent you is it, 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 it's got the same fucking hull machine gun mount, the same yeah. viewport, the driver's viewport, and all that shit. But I don't know what the fuck that is. It's also it's just at a weird angle too. So um, let's see here. What the fuck uh, is that? So according to the to other websites, that photo you sent, that's a martyr three, but I don't All right, let me let me just Panza Yega Martyr three. Yeah. Oh, it is a Martyr three. Okay. 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 Well oh I'll say I'm, okay. So Martyr three. Yeah, it is a Martyr three. It is a Martyr three. It is three. a Martyr three, yeah. This is one at the tank museum. Bam, we've confirmed it. Yeah. <coughs> Interesting. Wait, Very interesting. I st- I thought no, they stopped I... fucking using those after like forty three. Hey, if it ain't broke, fucking don't. Hold on. You know, just keep on fucking trucking. Yeah. So, not an SP then, a tank destroyer. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was a tank destroyer. But still, you can use it in indirect fire and direct fire. And yeah. yeah. Oh, the the the. The modern day photo yeah, you just shared. That's an interesting camo pattern. It's a seven five seven point five centimeter STUK Elf Panzer thirty eight T. Yeah, okay. so it's a, it's a seventy five. Yeah, it's a it's a fucking anti tank gun. It's a it's a pretty high velocity anti tank gun. It's on the thirty. It's on the Panzer thirty eight T chassis, not the thirty five. The thirty eight. Yeah. yeah, so it's German. Yeah. Well, no, it's still Czech, but it's, it's a still Czech. Czech. It's, it's yeah, a later yeah. Czech tank. Yeah. Yep. I got um. So well, I got that. A... That chassis is actually from pre-war. The the hmm. Panzer thirty five and the Panzer thirty eight are are pre World War two. Oh, weird, 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 weird. Didn't realize that. Weird thirty eight <laughs> is before nineteen thirty nine. Interesting. No, it's not. Not in Can- Not in Kanukistan. Because you guys count backwards. That's right. I get pretty upset when you know my mooses per syrup are not matching up with my, you know, all this other stuff. Um, 
It's a I got a, three. Interesting. I got a pretty cool photo from North Africa uh, that I found. Well, wait a second. Can we? Can we? Like, what are on their helmets? Uh, so that's why there's a big thirteen on the left, but uh, I can't tell. This almost looks like you know, like a Army ESB insignia or something. ESB. Uh, Engineer Special Brigade. Probably. I was going to yeah. say engineers yeah. of some sort, but yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I'm, they're they're probably the ones that had to clean all this shit up. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like the guys. I love the HBT coveralls. Also, that's cool. Yeah, for sure. See a lot of those in engineers and stuff. Um, and the guy down here is just full God. pelt khaki. That is such a fucking tiny fucking tank destroyer. Yeah, I love the, the 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 fucking detritus that sits around too. Like, oh yeah, it's fucking yeah. insane. Okay, that's what it is. It's actually a it's actually a, a Martyr Three Aus H. Okay. That's H. Yeah. Can you send it in? Uh... He just did. Uh... No, that wasn't me. Oh, that was Trey. Oh, God damn Trey. it. Trey. Well, Trey doing Trey stuff. Come on now. Fuck you, Trey. If you're not in <laughs> here, don't participate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No, it, it's absolutely that. I'll say H. Yeah, it looks just like yeah. it. Yep. Got that. It almost looks like a turret on top of there. Um... Can you send a pic, Mike? Yeah. In, in the chat? Yeah, they probably wish it was a turret, right? So the gun would have more fucking travel, but copy image. Um, yeah, really cool. Oh, we both oh, fuck yeah. at the same time. Fuck yeah, that's what it is. Yep, yep, yep. Off H. But like you can see, like all this tree. That's the same that gun, gun that was on the Stug three. Yeah, the seventy five. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! That that's not a that's not a fucking fun gun to face as a tank. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, uh, you're throwing a fucking three inch shell pretty pretty fast. Yeah. They had yeah. they had so many um, Panzer thirty eight T's laying around that they just converted them over into uh, into tank destroyers like that because they weren't useful as tanks anymore. Yeah, they were no, like take the shirt off yeah. and just slap a fucking but, field gun on it and call it good. But they abs but they absolutely loved the Panzer 38 and 35 chassis because of how mechanically reliable they were. Yeah. Mm. So yes, yeah, so they... yank the turret off of it and slap a field gun on it. Bam. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Put it in the casemate and call it good. But does, the does uh, the 38 well. the 38T was actually mechanically far more reliable than even the Panzer three. So same firepower as a Stug and a more mechanically reliable platform. Don't you dare badmouth the German tanks here. They were perfect and everyone knows that, that they were the best tanks. All that other Devin was, better. If Devin was hooked up to a lie detector, it would explode right now. Yeah. Devin's, if Devin was Pinocchio, his nose would have knocked out his camera. I'm just saying, I know that German <laughs> tanks suck, but there's a lot of people, even people that I know that would be like, ah, oh, the Germans had the best tanks in World War II. And I'm like, no. I don't know about you, but like, I just want to show people like a cross section of like a German track, like just one track piece and like the pin that was used yeah. to hold it together and has like this complicated latch mechanism i'm like the russians literally just welded a wedge of steel on their tracks so that way when the pins would drift out it would hit that wedge and just force it back into the fucking track yeah in my opinion the most interesting stuff when it comes to german vehicles are like the captured stuff that they used and converted and all that um not so much the like the tigers and all that stuff that people yeah nobody really gives a shit about. about the tiger thing was terrible even though it was the first hybrid it's right. a yeah it's a 7.5 centimeter pack 40 gun Ooh, oh pack, pack 40, 40 yeah you're again that's extremely high velocity that'll punch through a fucking sherman that'll yeah. punch through a fucking t-34 no problem uh, even a churchill I, it would probably punch through i think it was like 115 millimeters of of um rolled homogeneous steel armor it could punch through yeah, Damn. it was a dude. The Pack Forty, like, and the Pack Forty One was even worse because mm -hmm. they they upgraded the cartridge itself and then added a little bit of barrel length and shit. And like, dude, the the pack guns that the Germans had Panzer Abwehrkanone, right? That it means anti tank gun, right? Yeah, PAK. That's what Pack yeah. means. Yep. So the packs that they had, they got progressively more lethal. Yeah, and they were. And they really didn't need to. I mean, even the very early packs were still pretty fucking good by the end of the war. I was way overpowered, but like, imagine, ima imagine being a tanker going up against a fucking pack gun, 
Yeah. Right? There and was only 275 of those things built. Of the Marta III Ausage? Yeah. That sounds about right when it comes to Germans. They didn't build a lot of shit. <laughs> Well, they were trying to do so many fucking things at the same time. Yeah. That, that's the full name of that vehicle. I just put it in Facebook chat. Yeah. 7.7. Seven, <laughs> pack 40. That sounds about right. Alf. Comes to fucking 38. That's a weird way to say mobile artillery gun. Zondekar Fahrzeug um, 138. Oh, okay. So they called it a. Really? They called that's it the a fucking full name SDK of the vehicle. FZ? Yeah, that's the full name of the vehicle. Yeah, Sundergaard Fahrzeug means um, special purpose vehicle. Mm-hmm. I mean, it kind of um, is a special purpose vehicle. It's made out of fucking right, leftover. But it wasn't. It wasn't a fucking. Uh, it wasn't a fucking. You know, um, Panzerjäger, um, fucking Sturmgeschütz. You know, anything like that. It was really they. They, they consider this a fucking. It's the same. Uh, Sundergaard Fahrzeug is uh, the same as like a half track, right. basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's a slap together um, yeah. vehicle. SDKF and uh, for, for yeah to, to the, sure. the reason yeah. why we didn't yeah. recognize it right away, Mike, is because you and I are thinking the Martyr Three with the rear mounted um, crew compartment. The way back one, yeah, yeah. And that's actually the Martyr Three Aus M. Yeah, basically the same vehicle, but they re- they uh, swapped around the engine and and um, and gun pit. Very cool. Very cool. They just constantly, they had so many fucking irons in the goddamn fire. It's like, well. Come on now, they had a war to lose. (laughs) That's a good way. They also had Hitler at the reins, so. Yeah. Not by choice, but yes. No, they did vote for him. I was going to say, they did fucking vote for the guy. Okay, right. But um, (laughs) then... The military leaders were running it, and then all of a sudden he was like, no, I need to do this. I like, I like I what Brendan Gill better. just said. What did he just say? The Germans couldn't go five minutes without changing uh, without changing a machine in some way that would screw production. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> it. It needs to be perfect in the most complicated way. It also needs to come back to Berlin or to the motherland, fixed. the fatherland, to get fixed. We can't well, do it it's in the field. They got trains for that. Let's see here. I got some other shit. Ugh. Hurry up. Well, if freaking uh, this if steam yard as wasn't. As much a... as I like looking at complicated tank number one. Uh, okay, this this one's switching it up a little bit. It's still WWII, but. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what this one is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that Gosh, gap in his guy's teeth. You can gap. drive a train through that. <laughs> oh, he's just got a missing tooth. That's what it is. Yeah, he's missing a tooth. And he's oh, wearing his... the, the horrors those eyes have seen. <laughs> You're going to go that route, huh? Yeah. Maybe he's just fucking tired. Pissed tired. Off. And he's just like, all right, get this photo over with already. Yeah, look at that majestic unibrow, though. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not like... great. It's I not like the, the knitted cap under the helmet. That's cool. The Jeep cap? The Radar yeah. O'Reilly cap? Yeah, yeah. And then you got the old school grenade case in his gas mask strap. Yep. Gas mask bag strap. That's a good way to lose it, buddy. I know. It's so weird. Dummy cord course. that on. <laughs> it's, yep. It's so bizarre. And he's got the M40, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Um, the M41 uh, buttoned all the way up to the collar. I think it's an M38 Mackinac jacket, to be honest with you. Really, the earlier pretty, ones? That, that yeah, they're really because got added. yeah. Um, and his sergeant stripes are falling off already, yeah. which is lovely. Um, well, I mean, to be fair, he can't keep his fucking teeth in his head. Why would he worry about keeping his sergeant <laughs> runs on? So, where's uh, that at? Where any North ideas Africa. on North Africa? North Af- North it, it's shortly after Torch, of course. Yeah, okay. Somewhere yeah. in Tunisia. So yeah, very cool. Yeah. The uh, cat's mask just sitting there. For, yeah, the uh, was that the you, uh, you can see the um, the outline of the yeah, um, of the eye. Yep. The the eye, eye. Yeah. You can <laughs> actually cool. see the hose too. Yeah, the two. Yep. Yeah, down the bottom. Yep. Yep. That's cool. Jesus. Yeah, the, 
what do they call it? Is that the um, M3 gas mask bag or M3A1, I think? I forgot. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's M3A1. Uh, let's see here. It's a weird Does way anyone... to designate dead weight. Right. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh. We had, to, I... we had to carry the R's with us every everywhere we fucking went in 2009. Yeah, that's a nope. weird way to say dead weight. We basically just threw them in our assault packs, threw them in the back of the Humvee and said, fuck it. Yeah, there you go. How many times, Jake, how many times in Iraq did you wear your gas mask? On both deployments combined, a grand total of zero. I wore mine several times. Well, that's because you guys were chucking CS grenades like I was going out of style. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought oh. Mike was going to say, well, you know, sometimes your tummy gets how many... a little upset after the defect, and, you know, you got to... How, how many memos from Donald Rumsfeld did you guys receive for being too cruel during your riot suppression? Not enough. Let's, let's not do that on stream. <laughs> so this photo has a lot of stuff going on. That guy got a fucking high power? Yeah, in his That's waist. A high power. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, what the fuck is going on in this? Go up a little bit. Scroll up. He's very mocked. Okay, he's army. Yep. Where are his fucking Litson? He has a. They're they're really hard to see. They're there though. Okay. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, they're yeah. really fucking faded. Okay, get yeah. out. Um. So he's got an infantry assault badge, a wound badge, wound badge in black, and a fucking high power. Uh, zoom in on his buckle, his belt buckle. Yeah. Okay, so it's painted, and then it's not a pebble. That's a fucking solid. It was mm -hmm. painted. Yeah, and then his trousers are super light. His belt is brown as well. You can tell. Mm. Oh yeah, from the from the picture, like even in black and white, I can tell it's brown. Mm. Whether it was brown when it was issued to him, or if it's just so faded. If you look at the black finish of the high power and the black of the belt buckle. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not black on the belt buckle. It's just a dark green. Um, that's what they would usually finish them as. So he's got a that that fucking wound badge is really worn too. Yeah. And that's a World War II wound badge, so it's like it's not like a fucking Okay, and he's wearing a fucking Okay, zoom out. Oh, sorry. That's an M44. That too. What are we What are we doing here? What what's I, going on here? It's such a weird photo, I know. And he's got no he's got no shoulder straps. Right. And the Litson are fucking faded. He's got an EK2. Yep. Uh, a ribbon. But. A pen this guy's in his, infantry. A pen in his pocket. You can see his Zold book outline right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got the eagle. Oh, wait. Go go into the eagle. Um, yeah, it's the triangle one. The That's a 43 tr a triangle. Like, yeah. they didn't do that until, like, late 43. Um, so he's wearing a fucking 44 tunic. Hmm. The Ike jacket kind of style because they were trying to yeah, see him. Yeah, and he's got the fucking cool ass turtleneck with the collar rolled down. Man. Yep. Right. And I can't even tell what kind of straps are over his shoulders. Uh, who knows? Yeah, just something weird. Th those are there to hold up his massive testicles. <laughs> no, but this, yeah, you're right, Jake, because this guy's been there and done that. So he's probably taken his awards off of several tunics from before. Yeah. And like just transfer them over, like put them in his pocket, and then he's got a fucking high power. He's just, just fucking appendix his... open carrying a fucking high power. In his right. Waist belt. Yeah. Which this is fucking a badass. Fucking band. I mean, fucking 13 rounds and nine millimeter back in the day. Yeah. Fuck. Dude, this guy's a bamf. Like, who the yeah. fuck? Do you have any background on this on this photo? I don't. I just, I, I think I found it on Facebook. I just thought it was interesting. So I saved he's it. He's wearing no rank. He's no. not an officer because there's no piping around his fucking uh, his, his 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 cover or his fucking. So this guy is just a fucking badass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that guy's just a guy who's like he really likes to kill people. That's all. He, he's basically <laughs> Bullock. Yeah. Bullock, yeah. <laughs> that guy just really likes to do a murder from time to time. Yeah. Maybe he's a secret Canadian. You also have some interesting. Uh, you also have some interesting stuff back here. You got splinter camo. Um, you know, some. Other... I do like that German splinter camo. That's yeah. that. That's 
good looking camouflage. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. I see. He's that's his wool blanket. He's got those straps on holding his wool blanket. Up. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So they're are they POWs or? But why? Why would I they mean, let him? Keep how is he a POW team? if he's got a fucking high power? I was literally just gonna ask that, but I'm like, yeah. what the? Because that's POW. Are they? Is this 45 and like they're letting him go home? I, I should do a still... reverse a reverse search yeah, on this. I was photo. gonna say this could be after the war and they're waiting to go home. But and it, they just let him keep that that trophy. Well, I mean, a lot a lot of. A lot of Germans went home with their firearms from mm-hmm. the Americans because they were like, "Yeah, whatever, like we're done." But yeah, do a reverse search because this is this is fucking mind boggling to me. Yeah, and he's yeah. also got the more you look at it, the weirder it gets. Yeah, yeah exactly. Either that or it's just a really, really bad um, impression for a, for a uh, reenactment. Yeah, because it <laughs> turns out it's a reenactment from like 1985. Could be that yeah. too. Um, okay, here's some uh, here's something I found on. I don't who knows if it's legit or not. Actually, Steve Johnson from Lancaster, Ohio. Devin's <laughs> getting Devin's getting tired of his of his drip, so he's getting rid of it. Well, it's just I got to go up and get a beer. So I'm like, come on. Oh, okay. Um, so and the so, whole time you've been wearing blue jeans. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of the gym shorts. Most of the time when I wear shit on stream, I wear gym shorts underneath. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's, I'm I'm from the waist up Swiss. Yeah. So okay, this photo I just (laughs) it's uh it's posted on the Facebook page, World War II pictures, but it has a very long caption here, so I'm gonna read it. Um German soldier with a browning high power tucked in his belt on the east side of the Elbe River bridge near Tendermunde, Germany, May 1945. Um, this soldier wears the infantry assault badge with rifle, uh, black wound badge with helmet, and the ribbon and the buttonhole and the iron, cl- iron cross second class. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Um, doesn't say anything about it, just says it's from Life magazine, so it must be a POW. But this May of 45, when they, they surrender on May 6th or 8th, was it? I think it was the eighth. Um, it's see. probably from po- immediately after the war was over. Because they, they let a lot of these guys retain their firearms because they were like the war is over. Right. Yeah. May eighth. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. And yeah, um, May 8th. Well, so that's yeah, fucking weird date. Yeah. According to this, it's the photo is taken by reporter William Vender Vendeviert, uh from Life Magazine. So yeah, it must be a POW. Well, I mean, he's a bitch in POW. He's got a high power. Yeah. Good for him for for making it through. Yeah, I mean, like, you get to bring a fucking high power home and then... You say making it through, but he actually died of dysentery like a week before he was supposed to go home. (laughs) At least he saw the end of the war. Yeah, he survived the whole war and then dies of (laughs) chronic diarrhea. (laughs) If there's ever a way to go out, man. Sonic diarrhea. Dysentery is not fun. I know that. It's not fun. As a guy who's had parasites multiple times in my life, sonic diarrhea blows. Literally? It literally blows. It blows out your ass at, like, the speed of sound. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I, that's I, because Canada's a third-world country that can't even produce It is a fucking food. third-world country. I tell people that. And... Does that's anyone have me. any? anyone else have any photos they want to look at? Or is everyone yeah. uh, everyone photoed out? No, I'm not photoed out at all. Yeah, me um, neither. I just, I I want to I want to give other people some you know a chance. So fucking. Um, Most of mine's like technical stuff of like original pictures of how to set up my backpack for now my ensemble. And I just don't follow enough military history picture stuff like that to have you any know kind so much of... about tanks you should get tank ones come on now i'm looking right now and like uh a lot of the shit that i have is like really gruesome um i i don't have very good pictures of this but hold on i can pull up some pictures um so there's this um, there's this organization that I follow over in Michigan 
called the Warbirds of Glory Museum. They're in the process of restoring a B-25 Mitchell. Mm, that's cool. Um, the Mitchell that they're restoring to flying condition was actually used as a fire bomber um, after after the war was done. But they actually uh, they recovered it off of a sandbar in Alaska. But oh, they actually recovered the or whatever. Yeah, they actually recovered another B twenty five that they can't restore because it has too much corrosion. Um, it and it was never actually used in in World War II. Damn. Uh, because it was on its way to Russia as a lend lease plane. Oh, lend lease, yeah. And it crashed in route. Nice stars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Th those are all uh, all Russian. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, B twenty five. Fucking red star on the white background. And um, I've actually seen. Uh, the last time I was at Oshkosh, I actually saw the uh, nose section of that B twenty of that Russian B twenty five in person. And um, let me share this one. So the oh shit, this nose section here is the Russian lend lease one that they there's just not enough left of it to restore. Well, there, there's they, it's a complete aircraft. It it crashed 100% complete. Well, they can um, at least use it for parts and shit. So, but what they're what they're going to do is they're going to restore it for co uh, they're going to do a cosmetic restoration. But the wing spars are too corroded to be able to restore it to flying condition. Oh, so it'll just but, be like one of the display ones. They'll yeah. Put out somewhere. The the one in the back is the Sandbar Mitchell that they're restoring to flying condition, and you can see the nose art down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pinup. And pin up, that's like a full blown nude. That's it's, that's, it's that's the best kind. The way it needs it, to be. Yeah, come on now. With the with this Russian one, you can see the uh the black line for the underbelly paint. Yeah, oh, cool. But then right here you can actually see where they painted around the blisters for the cheek mounted fifty cals. Oh, is that what that is? Yep. Oh no shit. Yep, there was two 50 cals mounted on the cheek of the plane, uh, two on each side. Um, they were fired by the pilot. Uh, yeah, the yes. ammo, the ammo containers were right between the uh, top turret and the and the pilot seats. Mm -hmm. And they just stuck 50 cals right on the sides of the fuselage, two on each side. Um, so, so like if those two, if, so two 50s, I'm guessing Browning M2s. Yep. Uh, yeah. What like. Where do you think the barrel ended when if they were mounted there, like right, about like right there? Right about Man, there, yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't that fucking suck for those pilots? <laughs> no, like, you know, no I so. mean the aluminum and you're moving that fast and stuff like that. Like, really? And, and that thing still fucking and, loud and as the aircraft, shit, though. The aircraft yeah. itself is fucking loud as shit too. It's gonna be loud. I guess so. Yeah. Be deaf long before you fire the thing. Yeah. So also, you're wearing, one, you're wearing the fucking headset, correct? Like, yeah. 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 So one of the cool things about the B-25 that not many people know, like you can see it here on the sandbar, how they have 150 cal sticking out, sticking straight out the nose. Right. That one couldn't be traversed like the like the Bombardier's 50 cal could. So this one was just, you know, it was fixed straight forward, and that was also fired by the pilots. But one thing that they also did with the B-25 is they mounted upwards of eight 50 cals in the nose compartment they just yep. got rid of the bombardier entirely wow. so they would they would have upwards of eight 50 cals in the nose compartment plus the four on the cheeks plus all of the other gun positions and they would use it for for ground attack yeah a so lot of API just have like going 16 on. fucking 50 cals in it it's just like yeah ah. yeah 16 and then combine the top turret with that you got 16 forward facing 50 cals with the api yep yeah with api that is, uh, that is some fucking armaments jesus and yeah. then and then some of them and and a lot of the times these ones were operated by the marine corps they would mount 450 cals horizontally uh across the nose but then underneath going back through the uh going back through the tunnel they would mount the uh m the m3 75 millimeter cannon off of the sherman Damn, the three incher yeah fuck. <laughs> This, yeah, the, the 75 millimeter M3 gun, uh, tank gun off of the Sherman, they mounted it in in 
basically underneath the pilot seat. The breech of the gun was right underneath the pilot seat. Wow. And they would and they would use it for anti shipping and ground attack in uh, in the Pacific theater. The army used it a bit. I think th- I think it was the uh, B twenty five H or G. I don't remember which one off the top of my head, but the Marine Corps used it to great effect uh, against against Japanese um, logistic shipping in, especially in the Solomons. That is some fucking, uh, uh, whoa, that was a chair creak. Um, that is some, uh, some fucking, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, that is some, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool as hell. <laughs> there. <laughs> um, and then, and on those, they also still use the Bombay too. Oh damn! And dude. With, with the with the B twenty five, the uh, Marine Corps and the Air Force actually perfected what they called skip bombing, because they found out really early in the fucking war that doing trying to do precision aerial bombing of ships didn't fucking work. Like high altitude bombing didn't fucking work. They couldn't they couldn't hit the house from the inside. So they figured out how to do skip bombing, where they would fly at really low altitude, like. 50 feet above the water straight at it straight at a ship straight at the broadside of a ship and then at the last possible minute they would pull up really high angle of attack they would drop the bomb at the same time and they would skip the bomb off the surface of the water and it would just sail right into the side of the ship right i mean it sounds like what the japanese did but with more steps like pulling up at the last minute well yeah and also dropping the bomb well, you don't need to. It'll it'll get there if you're Japanese. It'll get there. <laughs> have you? I am the you, bomb. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen? Um, have you guys seen the pictures of the Missouri after it got hit by the kamikaze? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen with the, the imprint with on the it. Giant yeah. fucking hole. If that's the one, one. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Bef- I've seen that before. You see the outline of the plane. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it is some morbid humor. It's like one of those cartoons where they run through the wall and the perfect outline is there, you know? Wiley Coyote did it, yeah. (laughs) But yeah, the 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 cool I I don't know if you can call it the cool thing, but you know, the respectful thing that they did is they actually recovered the pilot's body and they actually gave him a proper burial. The the Missouri's um sail sail shop on board the Missouri. Oh that was nice of them. They actually sewed up a rising flag, uh, a rising sun flag, and they gave the pilot a, a military burial with full honors. After yeah, but after fucking, fucking him, plane it's into the Navy, ship. like <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, that's nicer than what they would have done. It depends on your culture. Come on now, being decapitated in Japan was very honorable. I right? know, I know. Um, it's like it's all it's all a matter of perspective. So they were like, they were like, good effort, son. We'll give you a proper burial. It was the honorable thing to do. I was gonna say, yeah. did they throw him out of the fucking hole that he made in the side of the boat? <laughs> they, <laughs> the plane, the plane never punched through the outer yeah, hull. I, I oh. think it just like, I think it dented it, and that was yeah. It. <laughs> here, here, I can, I'll pull up this picture. Uh, that's not a very big one. Where's a where's a higher resolution image? Stupid image search. No right. Yeah, oh, go, go to, go to we'll settings. Just, we'll just go use to, this one. Right, go to settings and hit f- and and search large. That's usually what I do. That's the only appreciable damage that the kamikaze did. Is it bent that whole plate? Yeah. So do you have the photo though of the where it shows the outline of it? I I've been looking. I can't find it. Oh, it's I'm not surprising. that it's out there, but I'm probably using a shitty search engine too. Fucking internet sleuth over here. That's not true. He's got better internet than Mike, so it's probably okay. We have the same internet. Yeah, but it's still better. For some reason. Just type in like kamikaze imprint on ship. You'll probably find it. There it is. Yeah. (laughs) It it was the imprint. High resolution. See how easy that was? Yeah, it was the imprint that I was uh, getting wrong. Mm. 
No, that I don't. That's not the Missouri. That's a different ship. Wait, oh, two shit. ships oh, were shit. hit by kamikazes during World War Two? No, couldn't have possibly. No, couldn't possibly be. I think I don't know. My my favorite thing about the photo though is like the dent the nose made. You can see right there. It's oh yeah, like perfect cert, that perfect basketball right in the center. I mean, he did his best, but his plane just didn't do what it was supposed to do. It was the plane's fault, obviously. Yeah, I agree. Like, the, the, like the do better. Like that that radial engine at the front of the plane was not an armor piercing radial engine. Yeah, <laughs> Mitsubishi needs to do better. I agree. Now I need to find out what what ship that was because that's not the Missouri because the Missouri does not have portholes. Hmm. It's probably some World War One holdover, fucking something or other. No. Um, so I, I just I looked it up too. Apparently, it was HMS Sussex. That, yeah, oh, okay. Her right. Majesty's ship. That's yeah. right. That makes sense. That it's a recycled World War One dumpster. <laughs> Looks like the most famous thing it did was have that photo taken of it. <laughs> that was a lot of British ships, unfortunately. They fucking literally, after the Battle of Britain, took literally everything that could sail. There's fucking yeah. little, like, two-man fucking skiffs that are ships. Well, it's interesting, like, because you, know, you know all my Omaha Beach shit. Um, yeah. One of the most famous boats that brought over, like, 29th and 2nd Rangers was the, um, the Empire Javelin. And yeah. apparently it wasn't Royal Navy. It was like, it was partially, what was it called? It was like, I don't think it was technically civilian. Let me look it up. It was like an ocean liner, or like a commercial yeah. something or other. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like right off the, the freaking coast of Omaha Beach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. SS Empire Javelin. Um, it has the, the red flag with the 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 Union Jack up in the, uh, the side. I don't know what that. Well, that could be a lot of stuff. That right. that's the uh, Missouri right before the Kamikaze hit it. Scary as fuck. I love the the um, the talker helmet right there though on the that you can see the guy kind of yeah. that's facing it. Oh yeah, this guy. Yep. Yeah, he's probably a he's probably a gun captain. Would be my guess. He's probably like, yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, there's good. there's we're twenty good. millimeter. There's a uh, twenty millimeter pit right there. Mm-hmm. There's there's two twenty millimeters in there. There's a five inch gun mount. Prepare then, for ramming speed. And then there's a there's a AA gun director right there. Mm -hmm. You know what the Americans should have did? They should have did like what people did nowadays, where they put those cages on the outside of their ships that are like three feet away. You know, like tanks do for RPGs. They should have done that. Yeah. Do you do that to your squad car too? Actually, mine does have some extra stuff on it for specific reasons. Just in case there's, you know, people that you have to discourage. <laughs> there's a lot of discouragement that happens, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. My job Followed by and... usually fuck tons of shouting. But... <laughs> You mean people, they, they get mad, you know, when you show up to do your job? Well, normally they're too high to understand. That's right. the problem. <laughs> so, Well, you need to lower them down, obviously. Oh, they get low. Trust me. They get down. <laughs> so, <you> Literally. Know, <laughs> one way or another, they're going to get down. So Nice. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of stuff. Yeah. Well, Mike's got to show the fucking HMS fucking Royal Javelin or whatever. Oh, oh, the the Empire Javelin. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Sorry, I didn't realize that, that was going to be a thing we looked at. I want to look at it. I want to look at this majestic canoe. <laughs> Empire Javelin. Yeah. SS Empire Javelin. Uh, uses the red in uh in the red end time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that means necessarily. It could be a lot of stuff. Depending. I'm still yeah brushing up on my uh. Royal Navy shit. Yeah, yeah, Commonwealth, Royal Navy, all that stuff. Uh, well, if it's using a red ensign, it's not Royal Navy. So. Right, yeah. Share screen. What? No. 
the hell? What's wrong with you? Many things. <laughs> Let me pull out a list. Do you want it alphabetically or chronologically? <laughs> I would like both. There we go. There we go. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. I like how my screen new. jumping up and down. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, it. It's not like you're what you would think of when you think of like D-Day ship. You know, it's, it yeah. doesn't look like that. Well, because it was like an ocean liner, if I remember. Yeah. About reading it. It was it was it wasn't like a cruise ship, but it right. was like an ocean liner. Yeah. Basically like a transport ship for people is what it yeah. was. So. Do we have it pulled up yet? I'm sharing it. Mike's doing his thing. Okay. Yeah, it's ready when you are. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's like an ocean liner. It okay. was well, retrofitted, obviously, but I love the um, the LC the uh, LCAs though that you can see right here. Yeah, I don't know if that was an ocean liner. That looks like it was a, a freighter. Well, according to uh, um, yeah, where am I looking here? Um, okay, yeah, SS Empire Javelin was an infantry landing ship uh, in service with the UK in the latter part of the Second World War. Um, constructed. Uh, it was completed in 1944, so uh, part of the Blue Star Line. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I don't know, but uh, it's it's uh, it carried a lot of like 29th and Second Rangers uh, to Omaha Beach. People, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. It's uh, to see something like this because people usually think of like big ass like battleship with turrets or something, <laughs> but uh, no. <laughs> I found that I found a uh, thing. Thanks to just scrolling through Facebook, I actually found a picture of that uh, B twenty five with the seventy five millimeter in it. Oh, here, let me uh, stop sharing so you can share that. That's okay. So I looked up what the Blue Star Line is, and we'll we'll cross back to that later. All right. So yeah, a the standard top turret. It's got. It's basically the, there's actually a big armor plate right here, uh, right next to the pilot, and there's one on the other side too. Um, that was pretty common on later B25s. But there's the uh, 50 cal blisters. Mm. Oh yeah, and they're the, the little like the little cases that hold them. Yep. Yep. Just to provide a little aerodynamics rather than having yep. the brick that is the M2 out there. Pretty much. Um, then it had four 50 cals in the nose, and you can see the opening right here for the 75 millimeter, which is behind this guy's head. Bam! And then, takes it off. And then these guys are loading 75 uh, millimeter ammo into... Which I assume is behind that guy's head in that big hole in the front. Yes, it's right about here. Yep. But then these guys are loading 75 millimeter ammo in. And obviously the bomb bay is still a bomb bay. So it didn't lose any of its bombing capability. We're going to bomb bay this week. <laughs> <laughs> Need to just go shit on the beach. What are we yeah. doing? We're going to go shit on the beach. It is not the desire, but it is very, very embarrassing. But we do it because we need to do. No, we, I, I shit on the beach because it's a very nice view. Very relaxing. It helps things come out much easier. Yeah, I got please. one hell of a view when I take a shit. Uh, Devin, it, it, please provide the word with a better Indian accent that you cannot do it. I can't do a good Indian accent, I'm sorry. And, yeah. I can't. And then, not and then once I get done taking my shit, I go into the office and I uh, I call all American women and scam them out of their yeah. inheritance. Your, yours is about halfway there, like... I don't you're do like, impressions you're like, like you do for fun. I was like, I haven't spent I, years of oh, perfecting racism. So I mean, it's not racism; it's my experience with these fucking people. Not racism, you're Canadian. It's, you're racist by default. It's accuracy. no, it's fine. No, to be fair, all of the I don't know if that, that was I Canadian or Minnesota against we've killed. I don't, I don't know if that was Canadian. Or... No. 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 I mean, to be fair, the only people Canada's ever been racist against is the natives, and there's not many of them left because of all the murder. Please, <laughs> <laughs> <So. laughs> Bob and Virgin. 
<laughs> a war crime a day keeps Geneva away. When I was right. when I was um, temporarily banned on Facebook Messenger, I was venting to. I, it's the, the the last time um, I was venting to you about it, and you were just like, "Here are a number of Indian um, insults and swears to say to them when you're trying to get them to unban you." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You're no, like I, this. Will, this will set them off. <laughs> there's a litany of of fucking insults that I know that'll just set them off at a fucking. Bam, right. bam, 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 bam. So do you want to know what the blue star line of ships is? Yes, sure. tell me. It, it's a so it's the... a British um it's a British passenger ship company. It's uh so the the blue star line of ships actually is refrigeration ships. They were for shipping. So huh. you're right. They were shipping ships, but they're refrigeration ships. Were, were, shipping were they ships. shipping ship shipping ships? They were, they were shipping, shipping ships, though. refrigerated shit normally to South America. There but they were shipping. They were shipping made. shipping ships. Shipping shipping ships to shit. Fuck me. Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, when they when they took the 1944 one, they were in the ship shipping business with all their landing ships on their ship. So they're a ship shipping ship. Uh, the the caption on this says it's an HE 111Z. Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, Put together, yeah. <laughs> this fucking thing, like, what are you doing? <laughs> They're flying. Now we're just obviously, Mike. Fuck! Look at all those engines. Now we're just trolling. Oh yeah. It, once again, it's uh, Germany wasting its effort <laughs> to build useless weird shit. Yeah. Well, I maybe if we put maybe if we weird. put two HE one elevens together and slap a fifth engine in between them, maybe we'll be able to actually reach America and bomb New York City. Mm. Pretty much. That happened, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Japanese put all those bombs on balloons and they fucking got pretty far. Oh, oh yeah. Time. LA, the Battle of LA. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so I apologize <laughs> if you guys hear anything. I have a cat that's in heat right now and she will not shut the fuck up. Oh, dude, put the mic right up to her. I want to hear this. Take care she's of she's care back there in that room just, <laughs> oh, just screaming. <laughs> and, and you're not in there taking care of it? No, I'm not. I can't beat her enough. She won't shut up. Oh man! So, so you're gonna, you're gonna beat animals on a fucking live stream? No, she's she's a perfect little angel, except for her one week a month where she just I don't know how she doesn't tear her vocal cords or how something that can, small can make that much fucking noise. But it's a cat. Yeah, but like, fuck, God, is she loud? Just screaming you, for you somebody you, to fuck her. Just you could get her spayed. We're working on it. But, like, the thing is, a lot of vets won't do it until they've had, like, one or two, so. Huh. That's weird. When I was a kid, we had our cats spayed without them ever having any. Yeah, yeah. but now vets are more ethical, apparently. Oh, well, okay. You need to move out of Minnesota, then. Because, <laughs> like, before it was like, oh, the dog's got a slight limp. Time to kill it. Mm. Nah, I'm you just know? scrolling through Facebook again. Tuskegee Airmen in front of their P-40. That's a lot of brown. <laughs> Yes, it Sorry. is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the leather, the faces, the caps, yeah. The airplane. The airplane, yep. Yeah. And then I like how the right. one guy doesn't have like aviation goggles, but he's just got like the pair of dust goggles on his helmet. Which one is that? Oh, oh the guy in the center. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This yeah. guy doesn't have any goggles. Yeah, he's like, what? He's like, I don't need what no goggles. I just squint harder. <laughs> yep. Got, I got my safety squints. If I'm gonna be fighting them Japs, I'm yeah, gonna let me get my Japs. safety glasses. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> blindfold yourself with dental floss. Sorry. I swear yeah. I haven't had anything to drink. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I wish I hadn't had anything to drink. I had a goal to finish a half a bottle of vodka today, and I'm very close to achieving that goal. No, I should have gotten some White Claws, but uh, ooh, this yeah. this uh, did it come with a pack of tampons? Fuck yes. you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a light drinker. Okay, it came with a pack of tampons because he needs to be able to put the tampons in his nose to stop the bloody noses he gets from. Oh, the I thought it alcohol. was so he could butt chug because <laughs> like. No, that's only what Canadians who move to Minnesota do, and high school Ooh. kids. To be fair, it's a very effective way to get drunk, so come on now. It's Sorry. a very effective way to get alcohol poisoning. 
you know what? A goal is a goal, okay? Mm-hmm. Th- this this Lancaster crew oh. is not having a good day. Oh, their landing gear did not come down. Didn't come out. Not- the f- three engines are out. <laughs> There's only oh, one no. engine running. <laughs> oh, the props on the other shit. three engines are feathered. I mean, to be fair, at least they're close to the ground. Yeah, uh, but they're still probably doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah, but you know what? They're still close to the ground. It's better than being at, you know, however high and realizing, oh, yeah, none of that. Bombardier they flaps up so fucking hard that they broke off, and they're like, okay, we're fucked. Get that ball turret gunner out of there. No, I was going to say, if Lancaster the ball turret gunner's ball turret. out of there, they'll oh, be sorry. fine. They'll just slide it on the ground. They'll be fine, yeah. Lancaster didn't have a ball turret. Oh, okay. The front there is. It, well, no, it had That's a front bombardier. gunner, yeah. That's yeah. the bombardier's position. Right. But well, he's like, talking about the thing they, in, the, in, in the fucking uh, the fuselage in the bottom. What is that? Yeah, what is that? I thought that's what that was. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know what that is. You're wrong, Maybe. Jake. It does. Uh, no, that's the side because they had vertical side portions on their rear. Is, is that okay? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, that's you're, part you're, of the tailpiece. Is that the, is that the rudder? Is, is that the vertical stabilizer? I think so. Yeah, I'm not an aviation guy, so I I'm not the one to ask. Because they had those vertical things on the side of the tailpiece, so. Uh that's a radar dome. Oh, okay. okay. That's a late war Lancaster with a radar dome. Talk about catching a good photo, like Jesus. Right before they fucking burned to death. I know, yeah. but like well, the photo, the, the photographer part is just like, first of all, why are you over the tarmac? Do that over the grass. <laughs> The grass is softer. He's like, I'm going to get this photo and fuck you. I don't give a shit if it costs me my life. That's all right. That guy can get mad at me all he wants. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, have you seen the movie Rear Window? No. Why? Jimmy Stewart plays a crippled <laughs> photographer who stood on a racetrack and a car ran into him. But he got the gr- the greatest photo of it before he got hit by the car. Yeah, Here's did he die? A, uh, no, he didn't die. He's just in a wheelchair. Should have died. The picture would have been more famous. There's <laughs> a better true. resolution. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thing, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's just the It real does real. have those two, so shut up. <laughs> yeah, he, it, I can see how you could have thought it was the bottom yeah. of the vertical stabilizer, well, like, but come yeah, on. it's the radar dome. Good God, angles matter, but okay. They do. Uh, let's All see about the can... vertical angle. That's how you elongate. Come on now. That yeah, you're an aviator. Yes, you've flown a fucking Lancaster. Fucking... Fuck no, I get airsick. I couldn't fly a plane. F that shit. I get airsick I flo- for I... the same reason I get seasick. I've flown a fucking plane, and yeah, it's terrifying, mm-hmm. but it's also fun. Yeah, no, I don't want to do any of that. I'll walk. Thank you. Not drive or anything. Well, just walk. the biggest thing when I was flying a plane, like this is several years ago, like I couldn't get over like the fact that I could go up and down and like there was no rep- repercussions, you know, mm. like pulling the yoke and like pushing it in. I'm like, oh, but I was constantly like looking and I'm like, like when I was driving a car, like I'm like looking, I'm like, what are you going to crash into? It's the air, right? The pilot's like, he's sitting there. He's like, no, you got it, man. Like, just, you know, watch your, well, I had to watch all the gauges. That's what I wasn't used to is like having to constantly, you know, you watch stare them at the and dashboard like, and then you stare at the nothing. Right. And then I'm just like, oh, this is nerve wracking as shit, but it's fun. And then he's like, all right, so what you're going to do, he put me into it. He made me go to a stall and he's like, no, we're, we're at a good altitude. Like just, just do this. So I, I just pulled back on the yoke. We went up and all of a sudden it's like, I saw the fucking gauges going for speed down. And all of a sudden, it's like at. Oh, I'll put that on in a second. And uh, yep. I'm like, uh oh. And all of a sudden, the plane just goes. And he's like, all right, just pull back on the yoke, right? Uh, and I was like, okay. He goes, just gradually, just do that. And then we got out of the fucking stall. He goes, that's one of the basic things they teach you in fucking flight school. Like once you get past ground school, he's <laughs> like, you just did it, great. And I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that man that was fucked up because yeah, yeah flying sucks if humans were meant to fly they would have given us wings fuck that oh bullshit i'm surprised dude awesome. like you're you don't you're not a like a you don't like heights so that surprises me oh no i hate them and like yeah. that's the thing is like it's uh, but when you're flying the plane it like distracts you because it's like driving it's like operating any other right. vehicle 
is like you're distracted but i was still nervous as fuck and i'm sitting there i'm just like okay but um it's just weird like i had a really hard time maintaining altitude like mm. consistently I, i'd be like within like 500 feet but i, I would keep fluctuating because i was just like not used to pulling back and like pushing in on the yoke right but it was it was fine and everything and it was just like we did some like uh his, his plane was obviously not like a fighter plane so i couldn't do that but like he's like all right go bank to the left or bank to the yeah the bank to the left and so i was like okay and then i had to use the rudders and i was like oh oh okay this makes sense like it, it's so much more smooth and you can actually like turn a plane pretty quick you started to get a feel for it yeah and you know i did that I, I should probably reconnect with him and start flying again but like that was fucking fun and he was in control the whole time but like because you've got uh in his plane you got two yokes right and your, your rudders are all in the same fucking system and everything but he just let go and he's like you just do it but if i were to fuck up he'd just be like let go and then he would be able to recover the plane immediately and so that's how i kind of had like that you know cool thing but like these guys in World War II, they were piloting these fucking planes. That was you in charge. Mm-hmm. You have no, you have no co-pilot. You have nobody else. It's you. Yeah, and it's you, you in charge up, of flying this plane and sixteen fifty cals and a seventy-five right. millimeter cannon. Well, no, 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 not now with a crew. I'm talking about a fighter plane. Ah, oh, them things are useless. Nobody needs those. <laughs> right. All right. Um, what do we got here. Oh, yeah, oh. FJ with a fucking SUG-44. Yeah. Sturmgewehr. That looks is like a reenactment photo. Is it an SUG-44 or is that it an MKV-42? Like, that looks like a fucking reenactor photo, by the way. Uh, let me let me find it again. I can read the comment or the uh, caption. Uh, where, is it, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So I'm tired oh, of everyone saying it's an SUG-44 and it's actually an MKB-42. Can you tell from that picture, Devin? No, you can't. So shut the fuck no, up. No, you can actually if you zoom it in. Okay. Um, the caption <laughs> says it was uh, summer 1944, third Felsham Jaeger in, in France. Okay. Pull the picture up again and let Devin let us. I thought oh, Devin I was a it. novice when it came to German stuff. So this is interesting. It's one of the few things I had to learn because I wanted to learn what the difference between both of them were because those are the two most mass produced versions. Okay. Zoom in. Okay, on the, so on the rifle. Yeah, on it's the an rifle. actual SCG forty four. The front hand guard's correct. It's got all the rivets in the right spot. The pins are in the right spot. Because they change those up a little bit. So Yeah, Four so that's an actual star. SCG forty four. But yeah, the the caption. I don't know if the caption is correct, but it says it's from France, nineteen forty four. Um, that looks like a fucking reenactor photo. I can't say myself. I uh, I don't know. Looks like a fucking BFA on the front of that bitch, but hey, who knows? Not really good enough resolution to be able to tell. Yep. Nope. Here, here's one that I was just scrolling through and I found. This is uh, U.S. Marine Corps, probably, I would say, 1950s. Probably late 1950s. Is this another guy putting his penis in a rocket launcher? Yes, that's okay. exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, that's an M one oh three heavy tank in the background with the one with the two piece hundred and twenty millimeter ammo. Oof. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. It could I mean that big. guy's probably not that tall. Let's yeah. let's all be he's probably built like Newt. He's a stout yeah. fucker. But still that's a big fucking round. That tank had two loaders, one for the projectile and one for the um, one for the uh, canister. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It could be bigger. I'm Outer not can. impressed. That thing's probably two inches taller than you. Yeah, but I'm a bit of a size queen. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... And and that guy standing up on the turret kind of gives you an idea how tall that fucking turret is, too. 
Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's just a big fucking tank. Yeah. Yeah. The M103, fuck yeah. I mean, I was going to say, if that guy is fucking, even if he's like my height, like 5'10, that tank's fucking damn near 10 feet tall. Yeah. Well, we can actually find out. <laughs> Mike, do you maybe want to do something about that guy? I, height ten. I got the it. Height ten. You're not far off, Devin. Height ten foot six inch. Look at that. Look at me judging distance and height very good. Well, it's the one thing you do well. That's right. I've always been pretty good at that. Got to figure it out. Yep. Yeah, uh, Marine Corps uh, first uh, first tank battalion staff sergeant holding an M three fifty six HET high explosive round in nineteen fifty nine. God damn. Yeah, it's fucking he's probably about five foot four and probably about fucking a buck eighty. Mm. You know, said, one of those guys. Like Newt. Yeah, built like Newt. And the guy you don't want to fuck with at all, but he's just like, hey, let's just take this picture. We gotta he's bring those back. And he's probably a loader. Yeah, probably. With arms probably like that, he's a loader, probably yeah. a loader. Mm -hmm. We gotta bring that we gotta bring that gun in that round back. Fucking slap it in the Abrams. <laughs> see what else i can find yeah i, I caught it Devin. yes you're cute and your little jokes yes i caught that, that one was... cute little oh, jokes. Here, here, here's one for you uh wear a booze oh great horny, here we go my horny cat in the background just... <laughs> i wanna fuck yeah look oh, at that I've guy that oh my goodness i've seen that a bunch of times that guy's fucking snug as a bug in a rug. Mm -hmm. Not a bit of skin showing. That's right. He's probably yeah. wearing the gas mask just to keep the wind off his face. Oh, yeah. Well, yep. that's why he doesn't have the filter on. Yeah. That guy's as warm as fucking pubic lice. Like, come on now. <laughs> no, I guarantee he's still freezing his ass off. <laughs> yeah, there's probably yeah, not a lot of wind protection on, there. I would be roasting alive in there. That guy's probably fucking halfway to well done. <laughs> yeah, until he gets moving. Yeah, I was gonna say once he starts moving, he's gonna be cold. But if that guy's standing around for more than five minutes, he's gonna be like burnt. Yeah, and then once he starts moving, he's gonna start sweating, and then the next time he stands still, he's gonna freeze to death. That's the good thing about sheepskin; it's antimicrobial and moisture wicking, and hypoallergenic, and fire retardant, and all the other good stuff. It sounded like you were like reading an ad for something right there i cool. just really yeah. like wool because it's literally the best fiber we can possibly make fucking clothes out of. Mm -hmm. and here here's another one hold on a sec <clears throat> oh yeah oh uh, the cat and crot <laughs> that guy's just fucking living fucking his best life air force officer fucking <laughs> having fun yeah <laughs> Looks like he's going into like a freaking mud hole. Like, yeah, he's having a good time. Well, the they got it stuck, and then he had to have the grunts pull it out. Yeah, yeah, and you know he's ready for getting dirty because he's got his big fucking jacket on. Mm. Is that rubberized? It's like a raincoat. It looks yeah. like something yeah. like that. Yeah, like he expected to get fucking dirty doing this. So getting dirty. Getting oh, dirty. They're saying it's Albert Speer. It does look like Albert Speer. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Not really. I think it kind of does. Speer wasn't an Air Force officer. Though. I mean, it does kind of look like Albert <laughs> Speer just a little bit. If this was oh, organization right. tote, it could possibly Everybody be looks like somebody if you try hard enough. Yeah. That's not true, Mike. I haven't ever seen a bridge troll. Well, speaking of... Uh, speaking you of, haven't um, looked in a mirror lately, have you? I actually did just a few minutes ago. Speaking of, you know, Albert Speer and Organization Tote, I got a photo if we want to pull it up. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. I love this this stuff. This is this is my wheelhouse, the Atlantic Wall stuff. The fucking ZB26. ZB26, yeah, in a Tobruk yep. emplacement and they have they have the Widerstands nest uh, listed on here, WN10. Tobruk. Well, I say, it's, it's weird that it came from Tobruk. Who would have guessed? No, Devin. <laughs> I like how they've got um, range the range card. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, range, range, range right here. Here, yeah. Yep. You see that a lot on these these uh, little shields that they don't they didn't have too many of them, but sometimes yeah, they put these shields on the tow brooks. Dude, and, they uh, honestly never do this in movies at all with machine gunners. Like they just have them set up their position. It's like every time we set up a fucking position, we would have we would develop a range card. Right. Yep. Because everybody, when you get off watch, everybody who replaces you on that gun needs to have a range card in front of them. So they go, okay, this is what's up in any yeah. position. And it's like, you, 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 we, we got a lot of these range cards, like these templates and we'd store them in our like uh, field note pocket or our field note book in our pocket. And we would just immediately do that. And then like set up a uh, fucking um, a range stakes, like your right and left limit for like being unsafe for your own guys. And we would do that a lot a lot as machine gunners and it's like you just observe and then do that this is fucking awesome because this is real yeah yeah no that that's the funny thing about like you know when it comes to a lot all kinds of field guns and stuff that i've seen um and every mortar toe brook i've ever seen along the yep. rim of it are the range cards painted around it yep and um also one another interesting thing that i see with a lot of like field guns um in normandy specifically is that when you look at the the blast shield behind them where the crew would be they have uh, and a lot of people that i've noticed think that these are like kill marks where they have different outlines of different tanks it's like no that's to identify what kind of tank that they were that they would and see where to hit it yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. where to aim yep so it's um, pretty yeah that's that's the thing is like it's it's I, I i don't think i've ever seen range cards or anything like this portrayed in the film before like anybody else no, well, I, no have, like, I haven't. Those things where nobody cares enough to to waste the time to do that. Right. Well, a lot of the times the people making the movies probably don't even know what that is, even if they that's, have historical images. That's yeah. The thing. Well, yeah. How it's... many how many directors have ever actually killed anybody? <laughs> hey, look. On I mean, purpose? we can talk about Sam. Other Fuller. than hookers. Other than hookers. Right. <laughs> what about producers? I'm now sure we're getting, producers have killed a lot of people, to be fair. Now we're going down a big rabbit hole that I don't know if you want to go down. But yeah. Uh... yeah, let's not let's not go there. But uh all right. Um Jake, you got a picture. Oh nice. That's probably uh Sicily or Italy. Yeah, I've seen that one a bunch. Nice okay. textured fucking paint job. Yeah. Fucking beautiful MG42. The worst MG. I, I've, I've got one lined up for the next one they, that uh, Mike's probably going to jizz a little bit. Oh, boy. Going back to Mike A's shit for a bit. Yeah, nice. Oh, d yeah, I, um, I I have that photo in the same folder that I just pulled up. Um, yep, the uh, WZ-28. Yep. Pretty cool. You want to go tow Brook photos? I got I got a whole bunch of them, dude. Everyone loves to Brook. Come on now. Where's the big bunkers from Saving Private Ryan? <sighs> you you gonna want to talk about the Schnabel stand? Okay, we can do that too. You know. Um... Also, that water <laughs> looks pretty blue. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 is probably like around like Denmark or something where this photo was taken. So probably uh... yeah yeah. The Atlantic but, wall yeah. wasn't just. So wasn't what other what other photo were you talking about that you like? Me? Yeah. Um, no, I, I just say I have a whole bunch of like I have this photo, and I have a whole bunch of other like Tobruk photos that have like interesting machine guns and such. If you want to go through them. Oh, uh, this. Oh yeah, look guy. at that Austro-Hungarian guy in his fucking ten Mauser oh, C ninety sixes. Yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah. That was the best way for fucking planes. It was volume of fire because planes were made out of fucking paper and cardboard back then canvas and cardboard yeah pretty much same difference you know what i mean it was actually like canvas and balsam wood and like lighter yep. pine and stuff like that yep. yep but um in reality but basically cardboard and paper yeah and so you only needed handguns and you just wanted to throw it as many fucking rounds as possible and so they would have like machine guns that have like two thousand rounds a minute of fire rate and like other shit to just spew rounds yeah two thousand rounds a minute of fire rate and only 40 rounds of ammo Pretty well, not even like if you look at the Villa Perosa, it had two 25 round magazines of basically 380 auto. And 
it would shoot them out at two two guns tandem together at almost two thousand rounds of fire. So like you'd get like half a second, and you'd have to change the magazine. <laughs> half second, you hit. Yeah, fucking it'd be like, Hah! but it was just about fucking rounds. rounds everywhere. Yeah. So. How controllable yeah. is that? Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, is it just but for that fun? Was the thing. It was like planes aren't moving so fast and they're already kind of hard to hit and you're flying around and they're flying around. So it was just volume of fire. Yeah. And I was like, well, why didn't anyone think of the shotgun? You got to get that guy up there with his double barrel. Oh, and just, nice like... burlap cover. I know, right? Yeah, right here. Fuck yeah. yeah. And then nice. this guy's wearing his, his drillic. That's yeah. cool. No, he's wearing his, his, his he's wearing a fucking like PJ shirt, like an yeah. undershirt. Mm. That's not even a drill. Like waffles equivalent, basically. Yeah, it's yeah, that's what it is. Thing, yep. Yeah, it's like a fucking, it's like a long john shirt. Yeah, right? but that's a good example of kind of how the mortar Tobruk system work, and then some more MG the stuff. Thirty-four, hell yeah, the better yeah. machine gun of Germany. You see that used a lot along the Atlantic. Well, way more than the forty-two. Oh yeah. I hate when people are like the forty-two. It's like the thirty-four was such a better gun. Yeah. Yep. This this guy right here though, it's interesting. This guy doesn't have it set up right. The for the the no. toe grip, the toe, he has to he has to use the bipod on the this part of the where you would mount it rather yeah, than. Yeah, this is a photo op. He was just like, get a picture right. of me, you know. Exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, he has to use the the bipod on that, but like, look at how much space he has. Yeah. But yeah, like this is how it would properly be used. Yeah. Now we see it yeah, right there. Right there. Yep. Yeah, and then, then we already saw that one, and then the yeah, French Hoss, Hotchkiss the Hotchkiss gun. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. M42 helmet, so yeah, yep. some cool stuff there. Another Hotchkiss. Another Hotchkiss. Yep. In hot the, kiss HMG, come on th now. This is an anti-aircraft uh, mount right here that it's in. That this when when planes would fly over, you have like a pedal down here, and then this would pitch upwards. That's cool. Think, though. The fucking eight millimeter Lebel will fuck a plane. That's yeah, that's a big round. This is the this is the anti aircraft configuration right here with the MG fifteen mounted in it. Oh yeah, yeah, damn, oh. yeah. MG fifteen, fuck yeah. You don't see too many of those. Yeah. I mean, like, while you do, they, they took all their spare shit, mm -hmm. and we're just like, yeah, we'll just throw it there because we're fighting. Nice Wasn't saddle. MG fifteen just a variant of the thirty four. It was the, no, it was a variant of the thirteen. Yeah, yeah, it was from world. It was basically an air cooled version of the. Maxim sort of kind of really streamlined and cut down and they made it for planes. Right. The MG15 was designed for planes in World War One. So very cool. And then there's just another 34 being used in a tow brook. And then that's another one of those those shields that they could use sometimes. Yeah. Chicken wire, I, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what this mounting Wait. configuration is, but it has this this nice board right here where you can put either your yeah, like shit on here. Your elbow. more ammo, yeah. more ammo, more ammo. Yeah, yeah. Yep. the tactical piece of wood. Yep. Yeah, that's construction of a tow brook right there. No, oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I know who's supervising. Dun, 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 dun. No, nope, not him. Not, not him. Scroll down. Ooh. Scroll down. The guy with the white cap. Right there. The, the white car. Yeah, that guy. He's supervising. All right. Yeah. Who's supervising who's gonna get killed first? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these 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 uh these French workers. Um, this is an interesting photo because uh, I don't know. It's because they're showing how they cover these things. I, is he wearing tropical? Um, looks like, it almost looks like tropical to me. No, it's not because his eagle's no, not. It's kind of thick. But no, 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 no. But it's drillish. That's it. Okay, so green. it's all right. Yeah. So it's reed green. Okay. Yep, it's reed green. It's the HBT uniform. It's the summer uniform. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but uniform. they they didn't use a lot of those. That's the thing is like, people think they use so many of them, but it's no. Nah, it was, but that that is a fucking HBT uniform. Yep. That's an early one too. So. Very interesting. Uh, another yep. Tobruk in use, and then WZ twenty eight in another one of those shield configurations yep. with a fucking range card on it. With the range cards, yep, down there. Yep. Look at that, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. I That's... wish there was better pictures of some of those range cards. Yeah, I know, right? They're, I mean, they're, 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 is, but... they're not well preserved, so yeah. And then that's that one you just showed. So yeah, that's yeah. that's my Tobruk co collection. Oh, oh yeah, nice. 
37 Four. millimeter. Or no, five, that a, that's five, a 50. five centimeter pack 38. Yeah, that's a five centimeter. Yeah. 50 mil. Uh, it says it's outsides of Stalingrad, September 42. Well, yeah, the architect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Those guys are fucking traveling light. Mm hmm. Holy shit, man. Like, well, yeah, you got to move around a lot. There's a lot of Russians, it turns out, outside of Moscow. Moscow and Stalingrad are way far apart. My bad. Sorry. Also, doesn't matter. A lot of Russians. A lot of <laughs> Russians, yes. There's just a lot of Russians, period. Turns out in Russia, there's Russians. Who would I got? literally thought this was fucking U.S. troops, but the covers, they had a lot of those in Stalingrad. Yeah. And I can see it now, and it's like, holy shit, they're traveling with, they don't even have their belts on. No. Because their no, belt they, hooks are exposed. They got, they got, the, they got their belts on. They got the their one belts guy, on. The one guy does. No, yeah. oh, well, Both of them got a belt on. Yeah, they have no gear on it, though. Except right. the no, one guy. fuck that. You're pushing a fucking gun. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, Devin. Like, what are you I gonna understand. do? Kill a tank with your K ninety eight? Yes. No, but it's like they, they don't have any equipment on except for the no. one guy that's got the fucking repair kit on his belt. No, uh, this guy, this guy's got a bayonet. Yeah. That guy's got a bayonet. Yeah, that's the minimum that you were you were allowed to carry as a fucking soldier. No, Devin, you're gonna use your Sturm pistol against a tank, don't you know? Yeah, I was gonna say they got equipment. Look at all those helmets. <laughs> Uh, and then yeah, they're, that... they're, they're burning the fucking village. I like how the one guy's got the fucking tall boots, though, and the other guy's got ankle boots. Yep. I like those. I like those German tall boots. They are pretty nice. Um, they're okay. Uh... <laughs> There's probably more comfortable boots out there. Those, the, yeah, I mean. From what I understand, the hobnails eventually, like, easily come out, or... Well, that's the same well, with the Well, eventually, yeah, the hobnails will just shed out of the soles of the boots. But, like, the problem with the tall boots is, is, like, shit got in them pretty easily. Yep. And that's why they went to, like, for one, there well, was they a lot of leather. Well, but, like, they, they shouldn't have been trying to gator. teach the Indians how to shit on the beach then. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, they went to low boots and gaiters because, for one, it saved leather, but it also kept more stuff out of the boots. So. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I got a bounce because I got to go to bed. All good. Some of us have got to work in the morning. Yeah, I think I'm going to hit it, too. I, yep, I I mean, I don't have to. I'm just going to Easter tomorrow, so I got to drink more. Go drink. Get loaded. There you go. Yep. I'm going <laughs> to pop off. And pleasure your cat. Too. Yeah, go pleasure your cat. I can't cat. do that. She needs to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm tired of hearing it. So, Thanks, right, guys. Have a good night. Good stream. It was fun.